Okay, let's do this. Oh. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Hi. and welcome back to another episode of Genshin Impact, where Daniel and I are going to be diving into Nahida's Quest. Finally! The second one is out. And yeah, the second dragon. one is out, and we gotta do the first one. And I, I realized that I said Daniel's name, but and I'm Joshua. Yes. Hello. That's his name. That's my name. That's his name. Or is it? Maybe it's just a weird internet persona name that I go by. It'd be really weird if I used a real name like that, though, to go by. Yeah, like, my name is Joseph. You're, really? <laughs> That's a cool name, though. It is a cool name. That would be a cool online personality, like, a persona name. That'd be sick. I'd like that. <laughs> but anyway, Nahida! Whoa. Uh, we're allowed to just dive into this story, right? Without anything uh, else. Sure, yeah. Because as you guys can see, we uh, have to do a few other story quests. Ignore still. the one you see peeking out on the left side. That's not there. The Zhongli one? Yeah, that, yeah that. I'm still waiting to do the Zhongli one, I will say. Oh. Yeah, now I can say that. I am waiting for that one now. Oh, except you were leaning towards doing the Nahida quest. I, I, was, le I was leaning toward both. Uh -huh. We were debating between doing both uh -huh. before recording this video, and uh -huh. I said, Daniel, it's up to you. And I never made a decision on that. I know he never made a decision. So and he's like, well, the, the new choice. Nahida quest. And I'm like, sure, we'll do Nahida. And he's like, okay, it's your choice. I'm like, yep. He's a tricky little brother, I tell you. I just realized I sounded like Gollum there for a moment. It's a like, it's a, a tricksy little hobbit and everything. Like, what the flip? My I still have this. Wait, you have what? Uh, oh, yeah. What team are you going to rock for this? I rock? We've got Dendro. Why not? Sure. We'll go with the Dendro Electro team. What is that called? Is there a name for that team yet? There's Isn't like like blender or something like that. Blender? I, I know there's like a soup team, which is like fire, water, dendro, and lightning? Something like that. Something like that. Also, that was really satisfying. What exploding those slimes? Getting all those cores and then activating them all. That's that's very satisfying. Yo, I wonder how um Kave's gonna work. Being able to trigger cores whenever he wants. Oh, hello? I wonder. Hello, traveler. Hi. Have you ever heard of a moment of dreams? I don't know. I thought you were going to ask me, do I know of the High Elves? <laughs> Wait. Heard of the High Elves. Have you heard of the High Elves? What is that from? I don't get that Oblivion. reference. Oblivion. <gasps> Daniel, I need you to, like, smack me on the wrist because I need my nerd card revoked. <laughs> ha! That was a little too hard. Wow, that was way harder than I was expecting. Well, I didn't want to. Ha I didn't want to have to. It. You all good? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, of course I'm fine. But dang, that that woke me up for this recording. I didn't uh, hit it too hard, did I? Oh no, no, Daniel, yeah, no, it's fine. You're you're good. Okay. I'm good. I'm not that weak. It just surprised me. That's all. <laughs> A moment of dreams. Yeah, what's that? Oh, that sounds like some kind of sweet drink. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I'm afraid not. It's the name of an event we started to hold regularly. Dreams have become quite the hot topic in Sumeru, and many people are excited to share the dreams they've seen at night. Right, because this is after we free her, and people are dreaming now. Yeah. Oh, that's, that, that would be so weird. Imagine growing up your entire life, and, and most of it, you don't dream. And then suddenly dreaming. Someone's completely out of the loop in some other city, like in Port Ormos, and they're just, they just go to sleep, and they're like, ah! What huh. was that? There was a dog in a suit and he I, was mugging me? I teleported to another world for a few hours there. Like, what? Same goes for me. The last time I dreamed was when I was but a little child. So I can't help but feel excited and nostalgic about dreaming again. Oh, this That's is nice. This is wholesome. Oh, right. Everyone's able to dream again now. Yep. Yes. We organized an event to give everyone with new dreams a platform to freely share their experiences. <laughs> that could totally happen in real life if this was real. I could see that 100%. Is that people take dreams for granted nowadays? Yeah, they do, actually. And thus our event, A Moment of Dreams, was born. <gasps> that is so cute. So, it's kind of like a fireside chat. Actually. You could say that. We hear all sorts of wild and fabulous stories every day. Really, why not have a listen for yourselves? I can understand your curiosity. Yeah, to us, dreaming is as normal as breathing. Well, to the people that have been robbed of something as normal as that, it is quite nice. Because it's cool. Dreams mm -hmm. are cool. It's kind of like how people take clouds for granted. 
or anything in nature, honestly, because that's pretty normal to grow up in a certain area. Like, let's say you, you grew up by a mountain and you're used to seeing a mountain every day. Bro, I do not see a mountain every day. Mountains are cool, man. When I'm in an area with mountains, I'm like, look at that freaking thing. And then people are like, it's a rock in dirt. I'm like, yeah, it's a cool rock in it's dirt. It's not just a pebble. It's not just a pebble, man. It's That's a, a rock. It's a big rock. See, it's like that. Just like that. Wait, but if there are free drinks and snacks involved, then Paima might consider it. Oh, really? So you mean you've already seen many dreams? Yeah, it's usually a normal thing. <laughs> so excited. It's really nothing special. No, no, no. <gasps> we need experienced participants like you to share your experiences with dreaming. <laughs> we are professional dreamers. I sleep all all the time and dream all the time. The Please allow me to address tell you, you as dream experts. <laughs> dream experts. I like this. There are some things that expert just doesn't seem to go with. How about sleep experts? Oh, sleep experts? Expert? <laughs> Paimon kind of likes it. <laughs> now you seem interested. <laughs> Please, follow me to the meeting place. It won't take much of your time. Rest assured, you'll find all the drinks and snacks you'd like there. What the flip? You're starting to make this sound creepy. Wow. It's a cult. Run! Run, Paimon! You'll have all the snacks and drinks you like. Flip, it's a dream cult. Just tell us about your dreams. Tell us about your dreams. It's, like, it's Paimon, personal. Uh, uh, but wait, uh, Paimon's getting ahead of herself again. We should see what the traveler thinks first. Uh, why aren't you saying anything? You're the boss. I don't think I really have a choice. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Follow me, then. The lingering warmth. That is such a cute sign. Do you the most important part of being an expert? <clears throat> well, I suppose it must be accumulating knowledge and sharing your experiences? Dream expert. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait. Crap. I wasn't paying attention. How do we say his name? Because it definitely looks like Pedrush. Probably don't call him that. Don't call him Pedrush. Please don't. It kind of looks like that though. I. You know, it's probably uh, in the case of. It kind of looks like that, but definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, everyone. We finally have some real dream experts joining us. Oh, they're using the stage from the uh, Pokemon event. Oh, yeah. Esteemed okay. experts, this way, please. <clears throat> now, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask them. Got you. They must be dream experts from another land. Great. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I have a question. Me first. Me first. No rush. Everyone, please line up and ask in an orderly fashion. Imagine, are you mimicking their chairs, Daniel? <laughs> okay, I will give it. I'll give you this. It is kind of awkward when you make it like totally silent and everything. See, wasn't that awkward? It was very awkward. I'll give you. Uh, you, yeah, you're right. They're still going. They sure are. <laughs> There's some initial commotion, uh, but everyone finally wow. quiets down. Paimon didn't expect them to be so enthusiastic. Well, dreams are quite wonderful. Tell us about your dreams. Tell me about your dreams. My question is simple. My everyday life is very difficult, so I would like to become a slime in my dreams. Uh, How can I do that? Oh, no. See, I thought we were going to be like Joseph and interpreting dreams, but that this is different. Huh? You can't. I mean, you kind of could influence your dreams of what you want them to be but yeah it's only more if you're a lucid dreamer yeah Ooh, good word there hmm? no it's just good use of that word lucid dreamer oh paimon knows paimon's had this kind of dream before so <laughs> she knows a thing or two you what 
You eat enough slime or something? The first time, Paimon became an animal slime. Paimon was shot by an adventurer's arrow and flew in the sky all night long. That sounds interesting. The second time, Paimon became a dendro slime. A group of kids thought Paimon was a radish and pulled out all the grass on her head. Oh, it was super painful. Wah! The third time, Paimon became a cryo slime. In the end, Paimon was captured by a chef and turned into a smoothie. It's probably Daniel. Oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> Daniel was the chef, I'm just saying. Also, why are all these dreams ending in tragedy? And the fourth time, Paimon became a powerful geo slime and went to take revenge on the forest boy that used to bully Paimon. But then the boar showed up with all of its relatives and Paimon lost again. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah, Paimon. Expert. Uh, yes. Of dreams. Wait, why did all of your dreams end so tragically? Yeah. Because slimes are monsters, even though they look cute, they usually cause trouble and end up getting killed by adventurers. Things don't tend to end well for monsters. Believe Paimon. To interpret, but... Well, at least she's grabbed the standard ropes of adventure stories. I suppose you're right. They are monsters, after all. I just want to experience a different life, but it seems that becoming a monster would be even worse than my current life. I know that voice. Do we? Wait. Hmm. Maybe I'd be happier if I became just a regular finch. Or fish. Pro oh, ProZD. Yeah. That is him, right? Or is that just someone that sounds similar? It's either ProZD or someone who sounds like him. Yeah. Gotcha. Looks like being an expert is way easier than Paimon imagined. Next! Wait, did oh, he say fish? It's my turn. <sighs> Esteemed expert, I want to know what posture I should sleep in so I can have the same dream as the one I had last night. Were you, you on a date? Yes, please enlighten us, to esteemed experts. Please. Hey, you're supposed to be helping. D don't look at me. Expert question mark? Um, first, why don't you tell Paimon about the dream you want to have again? <laughs> oh, it's quite ordinary. I sat and chatted with my wife on a sunny day. Wait. Listening to the breeze blowing through the valley. Wait, 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 wait. Can't you just do that? Is nope. your wife dead? Is she dead? Because if she's are not, you single? yeah, are you single now? Like, because if she's if she's not, if she's still there, you could just do that. Or is she sick? She may be sick. Why don't you just find your wife and talk with her? Ooh. There's no need to wait for a dream. Paimon. Is she dead? Well, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> ah! she passed away. Oh, okay. I can see why you would want. Wow, that. brother, you and Paimon on the same level. Yeah, huh? I. Well, I said. Oh, why don't you just do that with your wife? She's. She's dead. Okay, that, yeah. No, I can see why you would want that. Dang, flap. That got depressing real fast. Ah. Uh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Paimon shouldn't have assumed anything. No, it's fine. I didn't make that clear. I just want a chance to see her again. Flap, I'm over here trying not to cry now. Have you tried looking at her photos right before you fall asleep? What you think about right before falling asleep is probably way more important. No idea. Oh, is that all I have to do? I mean, that sort of works sometimes. Think about it. If you're the one thinking about her, and you're the one that'll be dreaming about her, then it'll be easier to connect your thoughts and dreams. Huh? You do have a point. I'll give it a try tonight. Thanks for your wise advice. I mean, uh, that's happened before, if you're thinking of, like, to me at least. I've definitely, like, caught myself thinking a lot about something before I fall asleep, and then I dream about said something. So, yeah, that's happened. Oh, my turn, my turn. Hello. I want to know the name of the plant in my dream. Is it a plant that exists? I want to bring the souvenir box to my room into my dream. What? Huh? Why a souvenir? But you can't take souvenirs out of your dream. Unless you could, that would be cool. <laughs> but 
But well, why do you want to bring it in? Why do you want to bring it in? Like, I dreamt of a raven flying over the wasteland last night. Does that have any kind of special meaning? I, I, now, okay, ravens Whoa. are cool. Ravens are cool and cute. Maybe it means that there's a raven out in the wasteland. Man, I'd be a good dream interpreter, man. I, I'm, I'm good at this. Wow. Hey, no rush! One at a time! Uh-oh. After a long time, the experts finally did something wrong. I didn't do anything. Their questions were way too difficult. We don't actually know anything more than they do. We're just more experienced dreamers, that's all. They didn't really care about the answers. Vivid dreams are just really exciting to them. You do have a point. It's more rewarding to explore and contemplate the meaning of a question than to focus on the answer itself. But at the same time, it's best not to be too caught up in the question when the answer is right there, though. Sometimes it's just a raven flying through a desert. Sometimes the answer is just what it is, even as confusing as it may be. Sometimes the answer just is. Because. Do you know I once had a dream that I was being chased by a cat rug? I'm not like even a rug right. of cats, or like no? A, it's like it was like a cat in the shape of a rug. Yes, it was. It was a cat. It was a cat in the shape of a rug. It was very much alive. Like it was not a skinned cat, and it was chasing me. And I remember I was like in the neighborhood that we lived at the time, and I was like running like away from it. It was like it was, I was terrified of it for some reason. And then I got stuck in place and couldn't get away from it. And I remember it like slowly floated in front of me, and it just like landed at my feet. And I was just like ah! And I woke up, and I was freaking like what? A rug! It was a rug with a cat's face on it. What? No, I'm serious. It was like a cat in the shape of a rug. It had a face and like everything. But it was like in the shape of a... It was as if a cartoon character was squished. Serious. Why is that scary? Ask me. I was like seven. Oh. Ask me back when I was a kid. I you don't should have freaking... specified you were Oh, a kid. yeah. I should have specified. Maybe I, I should have thought this said... was like last night No, or no, no. It's like uh, I was like seven to ten years old around this time. Traumatized by a cat rug. I love cats. As you, Cinder's around here somewhere. You know, she's around I mean. here somewhere. She's around here somewhere. I'm not traumatized by cat rugs, but it was a weird dream. <laughs> I'm just saying, it was weird, dude. I was gonna say my dream wasn't like that at all. Jeez. <laughs> oh wait, now you have to share one of your weird dreams. Now wait, share with the class and everyone listening. Share, share with us a weird one that's not maybe too personal. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember any. Two interesting stories from my dreams. Ah, uh, too bad. Right now, these people are like wanderers who've starved for three days and three nights and are desperate to replenish their energy. Any explanation they get now is like pure sustenance to them, no matter how good the explanation really is. Accurate. Ah, kind of like when someone sees something and they grasp for an explanation why. Yeah, actually, yeah. No, good example. Oh, and now that Paimon has said that, you know who comes to mind? Nahida. Bingo! If she was here, she'd probably be making some similar analogy. Unfortunately, she's super busy right now and may not have time for gatherings like this. Aw, she would love this. Dear experts, we have another guest who would like to consult you. Uh, but you saw how we answered all the questions just now. We're not really all that knowledgeable. Ah, but this guest is rather special. Special. Someone we know? Is it Nahida? Ah, it's, it's Nahida. Nahida. My question is, why didn't you immediately tell me about such an interesting place? Yo, did she have like a cat face for a second there? Were her lips like making the cat emoji? No. What? Did I, I imagine? I think that was just subconscious. Was that subconscious? Probably. Wait, you didn't see like the lips doing the like the cat thing? Nope. What? I was also reading the text. So oh, okay. I may have missed it. Huh? Nahida? How did you get here? Interesting events like a moment of dreams don't happen every day after all. No matter how busy things are, I'd still set aside some time to check it out. Anyway, I really didn't expect to meet you here. Oh, right! If there's anyone that understands dreams, it's you! You should be able to help us answer all these questions! You're not wrong. Alright, they can ask me anything. The more interesting...
interesting, the better. Imagine you're just this casual, you're like attending book club or dream club in this case, and suddenly the Archon just shows up casually. Like, hey, you want to talk about that book? I like it. Like, uh, huh? It's like, like, ah, yes. Casually, the leader of your nation is here, like, yeah. At your little book club talking about the novel they really like. Okay. It's like, yeah, I like that one too. That's a great one. Whatever you say. What, just because uh, she's the Archon? Uh, uh, yeah, guys. Bunch of... S what, we, what, what? Is Stiffs bad? S stiffs? No, I think that's a, I think that's accurate. Yeah, a bunch of Stiffs. Yeah. I know, but is that... Is that like, like, a, like a, euth a euphemism for something? Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. Huh? Should be bunch okay. Of sticks in the mud. What's wrong? You were all so excited a minute ago. Why the sudden hesitation? I think they need to build up some courage first. Even so, it's not like they look super intimidating or anything, right? Nahida, you could kill them all. You, we know how powerful you are. Come on. Even without it, you haven't had a gnosis this whole time. Yeah, you're actually busted in every way. Actually, that'd be terrifying to think of what you could do with a gnosis. Dang, what could she do? Is that C6 Nahida, or is that, like, not even close? I guess that's not even close. Flip. And in terms of reputation and renown, you've also done many great things in Sumeru, yet they didn't even flinch at you. But still not the quite the same as approaching an Archon. Yeah. Alas, the interesting questions have all vanished in an instant. It appears I'm the one no! spoiling the fun here. I'll see myself out. No! That's not true, Nahida. I don't want to get in the way of the original purpose of a moment of dreams, which is to let people gather here and freely share their marvelous dreams. Don't, don't nod your head to that. Yeah, I saw the that. The atmosphere here is like water poured into a container. The water is more secure and settled, but it has lost its free-flowing nature from the river. Wow, I like that analogy. But water can take any shape. Yeah. That is a very interesting example. I just want it to be another drop in the water. Not oh. the cold and restrictive container. Oh! You're doing what... She's doing what I think she is. She's soaking. She is a kid, technically. Uh, hey! It's alright, everyone! No need to be shy. The Dendro Archon is really nice, so please just go ahead and ask. Otherwise, she'll leave. Uh, all right. I'll give it a try. There you go, Atta. Oh, it's the slime guy. Hey, drop the nicknames, would you? Besides, I don't want to become a slime anymore. Maybe a finch or fish is more suitable for me. Finch would be cool. So you want to become a small animal in your dreams, right? Why do you think that sounds good to you? Hmm. Because it sounds interesting? I guess I just want to experience something different. My everyday life is nothing but the same. The sky is right above me and the ocean just over the horizon, yet I remain caged in a life of monotony. Ooh. Wow. So you want to experience something new in your dreams? Mm, sorry, I'm getting a little confused. Why don't you seek out some new experiences in real life? Yeah. Oof. Thought that was coming. Yeah, no, I, I would agree with that, though. Uh, I'm... Don't... Uh, it's, it's, it's accurate! That is. Because if I don't work, I won't have any mora. Sure, I don't want to be out hammering nails and cutting wood every day, but I have aging parents and young children to take care of. Okay, mm. yeah, if you're a parent... Your duty is to your kids first. Yeah, you're a family man then, yeah. By the time this all dawned on me, I realized that my life has already been filled to the brim by trifling matters, and I have no more freedom. Which is why you don't rush into things. Take time. Take time. Take time, guys. Unless you want to have a family and start early on that, then you know what? You Go for it. But don't rush into things. Yeah, so he's having like the midlife crisis kind of mentality of the oh wait I want there was a lot of things I wanted to do but mm -hmm. when you have a family you gotta be committed to that yeah that's well it's because you can't back out of it correctly there's no correct way to just be like, oh I'm done there's here. no way to back out of that and also don't push your own dreams and 
what you wanted to do on your kids either. Ooh, getting deep. Well, because a lot of people deal with midlife crises by shoving their own dreams and aspirations on their children and trying to make their children like they are. That's Beauty true. Pageants for kids. <coughs> Did you wait, did you just uh, <laughs> cough? Oh man, I have a cough too. Cough, yeah. It's like beauty pageants. What? Uh, for the uh, for those underage, yeah, those really uh, tiny ones, yeah. I mean, some of those kids, I'm sure, want to do that, but not all of them. Let's be real. Not all no. of them want to be there. They Most would rather be things. home playing. Let's be real. Yeah. They don't care. Those things are, my own opinion, gross. Yeah, no, I, I don't blame you for thinking that. Because well, definitely that's is. the case. And even if you became a flying bird or swimming fish, you will still be hammering nails and cutting wood in your dreams. That's a really funny image in my head. <laughs> just like a bird with a mountain in its beak, um, just like hammering. It's a woodpecker. It's a wood, well, yeah, you could have a woodpecker, but I thought it'd be funnier to imagine like a sparrow with a hammer in its mouth or a mallet and just The reason is you've already been caged. <laughs> It doesn't matter what your physical body turns into. Your mind will still be stuck in the same predicament. Maybe give him some advice to change that up, Nahida. You're kind of just beating him down at the moment. Really? That sounds pretty terrible. Then what should I do? Oh, wow, you're taking this in strides. I don't know everything that you're going through, but how about replacing your hammer? With a fish? No, 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 no. No? <laughs> I just, <laughs> just immediately takes fish, continues to press nails into wood. What are you doing? The, the Archon sent me to change it up. <laughs> huh? Replacing my hammer? That's right. Having worked for such a long time, you of all people must know what makes a good hammer. Yeah. Well, of course. A good hammer needs to be heavy enough to drive the nail in with just a couple taps, and the handle has to have a good grip to it, not too smooth. Come to think of it, I haven't replaced my current hammer in quite some time. Don't, don't replace it with a fish, though. Seriously. You can replace it. Then decorate the handle with something you like. Maybe some ornaments, fur, or hard leather wrapping. Then write the names of your children on it. Yeah, I mean to the last part, what? No, it's just a reminder of his kids. I know, but then you're kind of slamming your kids into a piece of wood. <laughs> it's on the ham handle, Daniel. <laughs> He's grabbing hold of that, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not the hammer part. <laughs> it's like, just, yeah, man. Like, just like specifically one side, like right there. One That's side the for each kid. Like, one side's nice and pretty looking. The other is just obliterated. <laughs> just like. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't do that. So. <laughs> Makes sense. I think it'd give me a good boost of energy at work. That's nice. Yeah. A new sense of adventure often begins with the little things in life. I mean, that's, that's really true. true. Yeah, you just change it up a little bit if you're feeling like you're stuck in like some weird... Be a little adventurous. Yeah. Try something new. You don't need to become a bird in the air or a fish in the sea. You only need to do your best in life, and all those things you cherish will become your source of happiness. That's nice. Yes. Yes, I get it now. This is a real eye-opener for me. It's it's like proper coping, in a sense. Like, because there are exciting things out there in life, but let's use the example of this guy as a family man. Your kids really should be your priority. If you are someone who has children, they are the priority. And, and he's it, also taking care of his parents. Yeah, And parents, because yes, that's a huge thing. So, yeah. Let that be the drive. Because that means you're surrounded by loved ones. Maybe they're slightly annoying sometimes, I but they're, they're still loved ones, and you care for them, usually. Usually. And let's be honest, if, if he didn't care, he, he wouldn't think about this. Mm -hmm. I'll go and pick out a new hammer right away. No, I should make one of my own. Yeah! Thank you, great Dendro Archon. Wow. You go do that, you took Ata. That, he took that really well. Never heard someone pronounce your name. It's Ata, maybe. Possibly. Ata? Maybe I don't know. The heart of the problem. Yeah. Actually, I didn't really understand the problem. It's fine. Huh? That's cool. I gave him that advice because I once saw a worker doing the same thing. Whenever he became tired, he would look at some names on the handle of his tool. Oh. Aww. After a moment, he'd start to smile. It really 
really surprised me at the time. My guess is that the names on the handle were of important people to him. That's really sweet, actually. Yeah! I think I understand. You were drawing from it's a similar experience. Mm -hmm. After observation, I know this kind of behavior motivates people. But why is that? Thinking of people you care about or things you care about often motivate. Mm -hmm. Is it because of excitement, anticipation, or helplessness? Oh, uh, not the last one. I really one. don't know. And even if I could know what's going through his mind, it's still difficult to fully grasp his feelings. Emotions can be hard. Yeah. Oh, Paimon gets what you mean. Huh. Paimon had no idea it takes you so much effort to understand these kinds of things. I mean, she did just get out of jail like a little bit ago. This quest takes place right after, right? Yes. Yeah, this was I'm the same I'm surprised patch. we didn't need to uh, do this quest to do the uh, Wanderer's quest. Uh, can, if you're going for chronological order, you would. But yeah, this, you, you're not... Yeah, you're not but They stuck. didn't put a lock on it, weirdly enough. Yeah, I think it's just because they, they've realized that some people, like us, get overwhelmed in everything when trying to keep up with certain things. But also, I kind of like being forced to do quests. Okay, okay that's true, because then you get them out of the way. Because then, then we actually do. <laughs> then you actually do them, yes. <laughs> that's why I was a bit nervous just now. But luckily, seeing his happy face in the end reassured me that I didn't say anything wrong. Don't mind me, though. This is just my way of learning. That's nice. I'm happy to help if you ever need it. Hey, don't forget about Paimon. Everyone knows that Paimon's also super skilled at reading people's feelings. Sometimes. Sometimes. Thanks, you too. That makes me feel a lot better. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? I already asked the experts my question earlier, but I wanted to hear the Dendro Archon's response too. Mm, okay. What should I do if I want to see my deceased wife in my dreams? Okay, every this night? is. <sighs> Don't okay. cry, Josh. Don't cry. Mahita, be gentle. <sighs> Please. Hmm. Longing for the deceased. Is she remembering something about Greater Lord Rukadavada? No. She wouldn't be able to remember anymore. Even if you keep reliving those beautiful memories. It will only highlight the emptiness in your real life. Mm. Mm. Thanks. Thanks, Nahida. But, you know, I, I dream every once and again would be I, nice. I feel like there's a healthy balance of not focusing on the fact that you have to, like, you can't see that person anymore. But at the same time, remembering the good things is not bad. Mm. That's if why mourning's not bad alive, and stuff, grieving. She certainly wouldn't want to see you like this, would she? Oh. He does, he, he's about going to fall over. Please. That's a low. Oh, that. Oof, I mean, it's true. No, I suppose not. But our time together in my dreams is not just reliving our past together. Flip, man. But she is still gone. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe it's because I miss her too much. But it's really as if she had come back to life in my dreams. Stop with this quivering in your voice. Stop that voice actor. That's way too good. Flap, man. I send her. Look at the, just look at the cat. I'm just gonna look at the cat just for a second here. I just need to like absorb the cuteness of the cat that and happiness. Works. Holy flip! That quiver was so good. Oh, flip. Main downside of this bottle is I can't really discreetly take a sip of water. You can't discreetly take a sip of water anymore. It's just like it looks like you're like kind of drinking like out of Thor's keg. Or Aquaman. Aquaman had the keg. It was actually a like one twice as big as this. <laughs> it was called like Zeus's something. Are you serious? Yeah, it had like a it had like a meat handle on it as well. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I was tempted to buy that, except um it's a bit hard to judge how much you're drinking out of that. Because that thing was Massive. No matter what, if you get halfway through, you're good. Yeah, I feel like you would drown, but if you <laughs> drank it all. Oh my goodness. Oh. <sighs> I guess it's for more like long trips. Oh yeah, yeah. Or like she hiking. even remembers each and every dream. 
After I wake up and then continue dreaming again later, we can pick up our conversation right where we last left off. Oh my gosh! That's... That's... Why? <laughs> I... Flap, man! I don't even know. I have no commentary for that. That's sweet, but at the same time, it's... You got... Preventing this guy from moving on. Flap! I... I not, no, not moving on. Moving on is bad. Uh, coming the is terms. It's a bad word for it. I think coming the terms. Coming the terms with her death. Yeah. And being able to, like, grow and... Moving on is the correct... It is the correct words. It just sounds really harsh and everything. But You're moving not moving forward, on from loving her. You're just... Yeah. Healing. Because let's be honest. If if you're if if anyone's loved one dies, you never stop loving them. That's always there. That will never change. And you'll always miss them. Yeah, like that's the reality of it. Oh dang, this is tough. Flip. That's really amazing. Statistically speaking, continuous dreams are extremely rare. It's <sighs> almost as if my wife has obtained a second life in my dreams. But the more vivid she appears, the emptier I feel, and the more painful it is when I wake up. I don't know whether to call it a blessing or a curse. Yeah, man, that's just hurting you more. That's... I got no comment. Dang. That's not why you look so sleep-deprived. Probably. You're just... Done. <laughs> He's kind of just... Maybe all uh. of this is rooted in your deep longing for her. Were there any unresolved matters or regrets between the two of you? Oh, I'm I really going know. in. I suppose my biggest regret is that I couldn't spend the rest of my life with her. Mm. I really felt like I was ready to move on. I wouldn't be so hesitant now if it weren't for these hyper-realistic dreams I've been having. It's probably like a subconscious fear of forgetting her or something. Dono? Huh. You know, they say that whatever's on your mind is what goes into your dreams. That does happen. Huh. Huh. Spaghetti T-Rex. Yo, have you dreamed of a Spaghetti T-Rex before? No, but someone probably has. Dang. I kind of want to see what that looks like. I'm going to think about that tonight and see if I can get some dreams about that. Spaghetti shaped like a T-Rex or a T-Rex uh, shaped like spaghetti? Uh, yes. I feel like one of these is far more pleasant to look at than the other. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> serious face, but right. dreams are, and will forever be, just dreams. We are people living in the real world. Ouch. Our kind of dreams. <laughs> you don't have to be that brutal. It's not good to be overly obsessed with dreams. All it'll do is fill up your mind and eat away at your thoughts. True. That can be yes, true. I know. That's why I'm also a little disappointed in myself. I still need to take care of our child. Yo, whoa, yeah, whoa. focus on that. Whoa, is my are my eyes playing tricks on me, or is there like a a tint of purple in his hair, to the right, or his uh, our left, his oh, right? Oh, that's a sun flare. Is that like a sun flare hitting him? Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, you see that, correct? I'm uh, not, not crazy. On that monitor. Is that not getting picked up on the the, the other monitor? Uh, I don't think so. Flap, dang, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Then uh, it's, it's crazy. His. Yeah, we, we use different monitors. Our TV monitor does weird things with colors sometimes. It's really... His hair's purple, sort of. Well, not really. Not really, but it looks like it. It's odd. <laughs> Look! Don't judge me! And it's probably not good to let her see me in such a state. Nah, definitely take care of your daughter. Yeah, 100%. <sighs> anyway, thanks for your advice, Great Dendro Archon. Oh. Yeah, focus on, focus on that kid. Single dad, dude. I salute you. Oh, I'm a little worried about him. I hope he can find a way to cheer up soon. <sighs> I can't I even imagine. I think can handle things from here. You don't need to stay here if you find it boring. You're here to have a good time after all. I don't find this boring. Oh, no. Another recurring dream? Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if it's some kind of hint. Oh, you dreaming about someone? 
Don't oh. take it there. That's all we get. Check on him. Who is depressed? Another. Yeah. Oh, 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 rip. Wrong, wrong person. Right, okay. Game. Uh, Ped Rush. I didn't expect the Dentro Archon to attend this event in person. It's like a dream. <laughs> Who is that voice actor? He sounds familiar. He does sound familiar. I didn't expect the Dentro Archon to attend this event in person. It's like a dream. What? <laughs> I don't know. You sound very familiar. What a lucky day. Just wait till my friends hear about this. <laughs> Yo, actually. I wish my dreams could be a little more practical, you know? Maybe something like becoming rich and famous overnight. Uh-huh. Gosh darn it, why can't I just dream of the perfect get rich quick scheme? Flat. Just dream of tomorrow's, I don't know, stock prices. There you go. There you go. Invest. Invest and then find out if it's accurate or not. Are you feeling any better now? Yes. I think the Dendro Archon made a really good point. I need to stop dwelling on my wife like this and move on with my life. Indeed, you suddenly look less tired. Yeah. Now that I think about nope, it, still tired. my wife and I always meet at a familiar place in my dreams. I know where that place exists in reality, but it's a bit far and dangerous. I don't dare to go there on my own. Well, thankfully you have us. But For a small at thing. the same time, I feel as if I should go and have a look anyway. Perhaps I'll be able to move on once I see that Bro, there's, there's nothing like, there. If there's a ghost of your wife, I'm going to have to try so hard not to cry. Sounds like a good plan. Otherwise, <sighs> I'll keep on feeling like everything is covered in a haze. Like I'm only half awake. Once I can stop dreaming about that place, I'll probably be able to get my life back together. Well, hopefully. Actually, you two are adventurers, right? If it's okay with you, could you escort me to that place? Sure, let's go have a look. Yeah, that might also be a good chance for us to unwind. <sighs> Even if you can't see your wife there, taking in some nice scenery will definitely help cheer you up. Yeah, I hope so too. All right, go ahead and get yourself ready then. I'm not ready. Speaking of longing for the deceased, I'd better tell Nahida about Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Wait, uh, we're gonna no, tell her? No, we should not. Well, I thought we weren't supposed to the tell her. The whole point is, uh, she stays forgotten. Nahida should at least know that she once existed in this world. Okay. <laughs> Are you headed off to some interesting place without telling me again? <laughs> huh? Wait, aren't you supposed to be answering questions? I just finished, and they really got a lot out of it. So many interesting and novel thoughts. Actually, that reminds me. Dreams are a great source of inspiration for a book for any like a like aspiring writers out there. Seriously, indeed. Like genuinely, no. Like as soon as you wake up, if you had a cool dream, write it down. No joke. Anyway, it looks like you're going somewhere. Why don't you take me with you? Need a breath of fresh air. Yes. Oh, there's no need to trouble you, Great Dendro Archon. I imagine you must have many other important things to deal with. No need to stand on ceremony. Besides, I wouldn't have asked to come along if I didn't have a good reason. I wanted to use this opportunity to discuss with you some things that are puzzling me right now. Oh? Huh. I didn't know the Great Dendro Archon could become puzzled too. <laughs> I'm not all that different from you, you know. All right, let's go. We can talk on the way. I'd better go with her. The whole Greater Lord Ruka Devata thing will take some time explaining. Oh boy. How would you even start? I wish my dreams could. Oh, oh, wait. I uh, talked to the girl, I guess. Yeah. Her. Get out of my way. <laughs> Debbie, what's up? After talking so much about dreams. 
I'm feeling a little bit sleepy. Don't yawn. I w I'm gonna. Oh, no! Oh, yeah. You jerks! What? Now I'm really fighting the urge to freaking yawn right to now. To yawn. <laughs> to yawn or not to yawn? Oh. Stop it. Mm, um, That's no. so mean and cruel. Why? Mm. Oh, ah. you absolute jerk face. <sighs> jerk face, I say. Um, um. <sighs> oh, dare. How freaking dare you. <sighs> Daniel. <laughs> Young man, I will have a word with you. <sighs> Stop. <laughs> oh, I did it this. Ah, that's how. <laughs> oh, never mind. That's pointless. Oh, well. Time to fly! It's time to go! Man, that. <coughs> my voice! That gadget in Al Haytham is OP. I mean, Kaching works too. Yeah, actually. Though hers is more of an attack than a dash. I guess technically you could also um, use Zhongli's pillar to also give you a higher boost. Except that just takes longer. It does take longer, though. But you would get height from it. But it would still take longer. Yeah, okay, sure. Well, it takes like two seconds longer. It still takes longer. Oh my goodness. It's the truth. See, you could have been on that hill. You could have hit the exact spot. Hey, don't use that grapple hook thing. Huh? Freaking. What was that? I didn't, I didn't. Huh. It's always nice to go for a leisurely stroll. Indeed, it is. Huh. Do adventurers often go to places like this? We're usually journeying through far more dangerous places than this. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Huh. I guess so. So, this is where you always meet your wife in your dreams? Yes, for the most part. Our place is on the summit, just up ahead. When I saw her in my dreams, we didn't do anything but talk about ordinary, mundane topics. That's sweet. I'd tell I... her about our daughter, Hydar. And she always listened intently. She would also reminisce about the past with me, telling me interesting stories and cracking jokes. Aww. It feels like no matter how long we may chat, it's never enough. Oh! Never is enough. Sometimes, it's the little things in life that matter the most. Value every freaking second you have with loved ones. Mm-hmm. This is the part I'm a little puzzled about. I'm very familiar with dreams. What's and happening? Normally, they lack logic and continuity. Whoa! What's happening? But you said she could remember what you had told her before, right? That's right. She always listened to me carefully in real life, and now she's doing the same in my dreams. She always surprises me with some details from our lives in the real world. The fact that she can remember such things makes me feel like she's alive. What is happening? That's pretty weird. Well, dreams are kind of weird to begin with. I'm starting to get the vibe. I, I'm starting to get the vibe that this is not a subconscious thing, though. However, the problem is that his dreams have too much structure and continuity. Most dreams are far more fragile than you can imagine. And some are far stronger than that. Yeah. For example, a loud noise outside your window in the real world could cause your dream self to get loaded into and fired out of a big cannon. You know, I don't think that's happened to me. It has not happened, but I've definitely, you know, I've had outside things interfere with dreams. Huh. Another example. If you're thirsty in the real world, then you might find yourself trudging through a desert in your dream. Not quite that. I'm usually just thirsty in my dreams. Yeah, well. I'm usually just like, man, I'm parched. But the appearance of your wife seems unusually stable and unaffected by any outside interference. Statistically, this should be extremely rare. I wonder if this has ever happened to somebody. Mm -hmm. Probably at least one person. I don't understand it either. But I have no reason to suspect or reject these dreams. They're too beautiful. Ah! Indeed. I won't agree with the bottom part because it is slightly concerning. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Because you are uh, killing yourself. Yeah. But I still want to figure out the how and the why. These kind of dreams are novel to me as well. That's why I want to have a look at the scene your dreams have been taking place at. 
Let's go. Just think of it as a nice little hike to the top of the mountain. I have a feeling everything is about to go horribly wrong. Don't say it like that. It's probably true. Or whimsical. Here you are. Oh, you know, I, I, I take a whimsical story. I'm totally down for just some upbeat. Depression. No, 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 no. I want upbeat and wholesomeness. I don't need depression. Seriously. Holy flip. This, this is already getting to me. I, I don't need it to get to me further. <laughs> this is not necessary. I'm fine. He's fine, he said. I'm he lied. <laughs> hey, you know me too well, stop it. Oh my goodness. Well, he really wasn't kidding. This place definitely isn't safe. No matter. We'll just finish them quickly. Oh, oh the Nahida huh? demo. Are you going to fight two Nahida? Dude. Of course. This is all part of our little trip. Dude, please, wait. What can she do? I don't remember C3. Freaking Nahida. Uh, no bless set. Okay, whatever. Uh, she gets plus one to all bonuses. Points marked by Seeds of Skanda. I need to so affected. Oh, the crit stuff! And then that's leveled up. Flip! Okay, so reactions can bloom. Let's go. Okay, so I guess just try and heat out, but then do the lightning. Stand with me. Whoa! Oh, I, think I forgot. Yeah, they crit. Oh, that's. Does nasty. that affect other characters? Yeah. Huh! Ow, my ears. Well, that's broken. <gasps> yeah, because you know, dungeon reactions needed crits. <laughs> Nahida is so good. <laughs> yeah, Nahida is easily, possibly the best character in the game, if not one of them. But, like, I think it's funny that we have characters like Nahida, but yet Kokomi cannot crit, and, like, the bubble set, the healing bubble set, can't crit either. Like, we have, like, no, we have to put a cap on that, but Nahida, that's just Except fine. Except then there's characters like Nahida, who are not only amazing base game, but once you just get her constellations, the, uh, the level of nuts... It caused someone with a peanut allergy to faint. <laughs> it's a great. It's a <laughs> Paimon wouldn't mind spending some time here every day either. <sighs> I've yet to see anything strange about this place. I do not plan to deny the power of longing. Such an intense but unquantifiable emotion could indeed have the power to organize dreams. Hmm. His wife must be a really amazing person. Flip. Huh? Wait, where'd he go? Uh-oh. Oh, so you are waiting for me here? Well, guess what? I've brought someone amazing with me today. Wait, what's happening here? He's sleepwalking. When the Dendro Archon said she wanted to come with me, I could hardly believe it. I'll bring Hydar. Once I'm more familiar with the way here, she's been telling me that she really misses you. Oh, man. Huh? What's wrong with him? There's nobody there. Uh-oh. Wait, Minar. Don't go that way. Minar? It's dangerous. Minar. Minar. Cool name. Uh-oh, he's gonna fall. Catch him. Wait, what? I'm behind you! Well, I don't think she could catch him. You rushed to stop him! Uh, who's walking straight towards the edge of a cliff! Luckily, he didn't fall. But what was all that rambling about? He also looks like he's passed out. He's in the dream now. What he said just now matches almost perfectly with the dreams he subscribed to us earlier. Okay. So what's happening? Oh, so... He fell asleep and started to have the same dream? Apparently. I find it a little strange as well, but we mustn't awaken someone while they're sleepwalking. All we can do is sit here and wait. Yeah, that doesn't explain how he... Why? How did he fall asleep? Mm. Uh, huh? 
Is waking up from- is waking someone up from sleepwalking, like, jolting to the senses, like a flashbang to the nerves? I don't know, I've always heard people say that, but I don't know why. I assume it's from experience of not great things happening. Well, maybe they could also lose balance and fall, maybe. And hurt maybe it's dangerous, but, like, then, like, why don't you just, like, tackle them and hug them? Well, then you're tackling an unconscious person. <laughs> so? <laughs> They'd safely be able to wake up? Yeah, after you've tackled them awake. It's probably something more psychological and <laughs> mental. <sighs> oh. Minar. Where's Minar? Oh, good! You're finally awake! <sighs> what happened? You were sleepwalking and almost fell. Huh? Sleepwalking? Yeah. Oh, right. It was all just a dream. The moment I reached the summit, I saw my wife, Minar, sitting there, and walked over to her. After I introduced her to you, she seemed a little flustered and started walking away. I told her to stop because of the cliff, and then she seemed to suddenly disappear. A strong wind started to blow around me and the sky grew dark. What is happening? When I realized something wasn't right, I woke up. That sounds pretty wild. Maybe you were just too tired. I don't think so. I slept a lot yesterday, and I don't feel very sleepy now. Why? You have some serious rings under your eye, though. Maybe we've affected the way his subconscious constructs dreams by following him here. Anyway, all that matters is that you woke up safe and sound. Yep. I think I know what happened now. I'm sorry. If it weren't for you, I would have fallen. Yeah? Let's head back now. Don't come back to this place again for the time being. Oh, uh, okay. Nahida, what's on your mind? Paimon's a little worried now. We still don't have enough evidence to work off of, so it's hard to draw any reliable conclusions yet. But I'm concerned that Ilmon's case may not be unique to him. Oh, right! Come to think of it, there were lots of people from the event who had vivid memories of their dreams. Maybe this phenomenon is already spreading. Right. What's happening? And not only at a moment of dreams, there may be people like this all across Sumeru. Mmm, that's actually quite bad. We need to understand what's happening and the rate of its development as soon as possible. Then there's no time to lose! Let's head back! Stop standing there, Ilmon! Let's go! Should Boy. never have given the man a taste. Oh. Man. Well flip, dude. I I don't know what's happening. Sadness. Sad well yeah, but like <clears throat> they're dreams. <laughs> Who the freak is like playing with people's dreams? May also be naturally oh, occurring. You're back already. How'd it go? The whole land starved of dreams. So who knows? We have an emergency on our hands. Please notify everyone here that while they can continue to discuss their dreams, they mustn't try to visit or recreate the locations and scenes that they have been experiencing in them. What? Uh, all right, if that's the wish of the great Dendro Archon. But could you at least tell me what happened? You all look so serious. Ah, bah, 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 bah. I see. I never knew even a dream could be so dangerous. Don't worry. I'll be sure to notify all the event participants and inform the other staff members about what has happened. Using the event registration list, I should be able to contact more people that were interested in dreams and warn them about the situation. Okay. That's good. Thank you. That would be very helpful. Let me confirm if all of today's participants are still here. Atta has already left. It seemed that he was on his way to make a hammer, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, wait a second. Where's Katya? Katya? Yeah, she was gone for a while. Huh. Has anyone seen Katya? Has she already left? Oh, I, I think she already left. She said there was somewhere she wanted to go. <laughs> Oh no, did she want to look for the place from her dreams too? Can you tell us where she went? Yes, she did briefly mention it. Somewhere near... 
Chatracum Cave. Chatracum Cave? Chatracum Cave? What the? Com? Com? Cave? I have no Ch- idea. Oh, Chatracum. Thank you. We'll go look for her. Please help us tell the others not to do anything reckless. Sure thing. Oh, who would have known things would have turned out like this? What was your dream? Seriously. Mm-hmm. We never heard it. Why did you not? My game, why couldn't we listen? <sighs> Hi, Dar. It's just a dream. How bad could it be? That's how people get hurt. How bad could it possibly be? What's all the sudden commotion about? Sir, do not become a slime. Do not. You hear us? Or a finch? They're just sleepwalking. They're really overreacting. <sighs> I'm getting really sleepy. See, the problem with sleepwalking is it's not the it's not the walking part that's the issue. It's more of the falling and getting hurt part. It's more of the walking into things. Yeah. And almost dying part that's bad. Like, I know sleepwalking is real to an extent, but, like, how does oh, it actually real. work? No, 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 I know. But, like, sometimes they overplay it in, like, movies and games and oh, stuff like that. Oh, of course it's overplayed, but, but like, it's still yeah. something that happens. Like, how does that work? Hmm. I assume your body just... Look! She's mm. sitting over there! <laughs> Moves. It's surrounded by monsters! Come on, let's rescue her! Another demo, Nahida? Let's go. Dude. Hey. So I like, nerd. Okay, just use Nahida this time. I want to see what this freaking Nahida can do. Flipping Flugelheimers! Yeah. I guess try out Ohafen and see if you. Whoa! I get. Never mind! There were no dendro cores. She Too bad. She to be in the same condition as Ilmon earlier. Yes, but luckily she hasn't been injured or jolted awake yet. Let's carefully move her somewhere safer. See you tomorrow, Professor Aisha. Okay. <sighs> huh? Why? Why am I back here again? You were dreaming just now. Dreaming? But what about Professor Aisha? Who? Oh, I see. It was all just a dream. Well, that makes sense. After all, it hasn't changed a single bit. Huh? What's it? You from where you school? talking to a plant? What? Nearly 20 years and it still hasn't bloomed. <sighs> what? Does it have something to do with your dream? Please, tell us what you mean. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm still feeling a little groggy. Please give me a moment here. <sighs> <sighs> All right, where to start? Right, this plant. So, Professor Aisha gave me this plant just before she left. She was a good friend of my parents and my first real tutor. She was also an outstanding Amorta researcher. In oh. addition to her extraordinary academic talents, she was also skilled in combat oh. and would accept lots of work from the Adventurers Guild. Cool. Oh. So you mean she's left on an adventure? Yes. When I was about ten years old, she told me that she must go look for the secrets of the abyss, and that she would be gone for a long time. Oh dang! Oh, you're talking about a character we're gonna be meeting, probably. Lately. Yeah. Okay. Do you think um? Do you think uh, Aisha will be a part of the uh, adventures quest over there to the like? No, we don't know if that was necessarily them investigating the abyss. We just know it's something to do with stuff. Dang. So do you think uh, the uh, adventurers guild because they were doing that secret mission with the? Oh no, uh, those are the knights. The knights of Favonius and the uh, Grand. No, they Master. were uh, they were expeditioning towards it. Okay, so they were. I wonder if they like met up or something. How long have I they been gone? By the way, the knights of Favonius. A while. I didn't know what the abyss was. I just knew that she was like family to me. Oh. She like a... hugged me, and we cried for some time until I fell asleep. When I woke up, I was already back home. Flap! She still decided to leave, but had left behind a letter for me saying that I was the person she cared for most in this world. That's oh. nice. Like a... Like she claimed a... that 
Investigating the Abyss could help more ordinary people protect the people and things they care about. Hmm? She I have had no idea what that's hinting at. Evidence during her past adventures. If she didn't set off right away, she might miss the perfect opportunity. What was ten years ago? What happened ten years ago? I have no idea. Guess Ad Astra Abyssosk isn't just a slogan. She left a seed in the letter, telling me that if it sprouted and bloomed, then she'd come back no matter what sort of risky situation she was in. She said she looked forward to seeing me all grown up. But strangely, I've tried watering it, feeding it, everything I could think of, but I've never been able to get it to bloom. Was she possibly one of the, uh, the, uh, witches? Don't know. I wonder. I even went to ask the Immorta researchers, and they couldn't explain it either. May I have a look at the plant? Of course. So I was hoping the great Dendro Archon could help me solve this problem. Let me see. Huh? We've never seen that look on Nahida's face before. <sighs> it can't bloom. Wait, what? Or could it be an expression pleading for help? What? 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 Huh? She looks a little unwell. Um, hold on. We'll be right back. Plant. Shrub. What's wrong, Nita? You can't tell what's wrong with the plant either? No. I immediately understood what's happening with that plant. I'm just not sure if I should say it. This plant is not known to the academic world. It's a new species that her teacher managed to cultivate by some special means. Oh, mm. Judging by its features, I can tell from the moment it sprouted it'll never be able to bloom. Oof. It, it can't be. It means that this Professor Aisha she keeps mentioning might have foreseen the danger and was prepared to never return. From my experience observing people, she would undoubtedly regard this as a brutal revelation. Mm. When it's yeah. to confront such brutal truths, people may break down into tears, talk nonsense, or lose their tempers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I know she has to face the truth, but at the same time, I don't want to hurt her. Tell me, what should I do? These moments are always hard. Yeah. When you don't want someone to keep suffering, but also telling them would also make them suffer as well. I mean, the ultimate choice is usually just to tell them the truth, honestly. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make it easier. Yeah. That's a tricky one. Um, seems like you've already got a good idea of the feelings she might experience. Daniel, you tell her. Sure. But wouldn't that mean I'm just pushing it all on you? What if she just gets angry at you instead? People like usually get angry at hearing things that are true. I mean, so? It's nothing new. It's alright. There are all kinds of people, and the examples you observed are just the most extreme cases. That's true. That's that's kind of true. I gotta mm. get, I, I gotta agree. Wait, what are the choices? I've many. I have seen many situations like this before, and there's always a way to work through it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Wait, wait. What? What made you laugh? Like, oh no, these are just extreme cases, man. You know, they're so rare to see in real life. In real life, yeah, you don't see they're them. All so time. hard to imagine. <laughs> that voice crack. <laughs> yep. Mmm. Yep. I mean, what's the worst that can happen when someone's view of the world is completely shattered? <laughs> Nothing but sunshine and rainbows, I tell you. All the time. Actually, sometimes, in some cases, yes. Some people are rather accepting of it rather quickly. Yeah, no, if they find out something isn't true and they're just like, oh, flip, well, I guess I need to adapt to that, then yeah, that's great. And yes, but also some people go a little nuts. Yeah, there's also that. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Let's go back 
can tell her. Huh? <laughs> It'll never bloom? Water transition. Yeah. But, how is that possible? If a plant is unable to bloom, doesn't that mean it can't reproduce either? All that's left for it to do is slowly wither away. You know, you're not wrong. She meant to convey a message to the plant's true nature. Are you saying she never intended to return? Seriously? So everything she said was a lie? Not necessarily. Not really. I mean, she just worded her thing. She said if it would bloom, she would come back. It, it doesn't just bloom. can't bloom. <laughs> so she never lied. You just assumed that it would. <laughs> You're not wrong. Daniel is not wrong. That is correct. But she meant well. Since the separation was inevitable, she hoped that you would be able to come to grips with such a cruel parting a little later in life. She really cared about you. Yeah. Her love, care, and attention to you? All those warm moments were real. I guess she had hoped that you could understand and respect her choice after learning the truth. I see. Sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it's just... Just so much to take in. And that is perfectly normal. Ah, Mona's backstory again. Yep. <laughs> the dreams yeah. are so beautiful. Yet reality is heartlessly cold. Not true. Not always true. Sometimes, I really yeah, sure. She had but... come back. I had so much to tell her. I understand your grief. Except that the person we're trying to chase after is currently trying to destroy the world. A little different, but similar. Yeah. These dreams may not be as pure and beautiful as they seem. Some kind of power may be exploiting your feelings. <sighs> really? Who is it gonna be? Who is using dreams? Yes. So with that in mind, until our investigation is completed, please return to the event and ignore any further temptations from your dreams. It's 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 Nahida's evil twin sister. Ahida. <laughs> Adi. Wait, no, it'd be Adi Han. Adi Han. Adihan. 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 Yep. Her evil counterpart. I see. Thank you for rescuing me. And sorry for the trouble. Luckily, the plant didn't get hurt either. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything left to remember her by. Oh, that's nice. How old was that plant? Again? Ten years. Yep. Plus. She seems to have finally accepted the truth. But I think she'll still need a long time to come to terms with her feelings. Normal. <laughs> it's like saying, hey, I'll message you later. Never again. Never again. Checks con DMs constantly. They're not messaging me. Where are they? I saw her waver the moment you mentioned love. It was almost like a gentle ring, arriving just in time to put out a fire that was about to spread. It's because people have something called empathy. You don't have to say it rudely like that, Paimon. Empathy? Hmm, I see. This is valuable knowledge indeed. I don't think she meant it rude, but it did kind of come off as sassy. But yeah. Like, uh, people have a thing called empathy? It's like, jeez. No, I mean, but empathy, yeah. But empathy, what she was stating, is very real. It, actually, I'm kind of surprised Nahida doesn't. Know about empathy. She's been locked in a box. I know, but you'd think that actually would have been something. Cause she's de she's definitely empathetic. She feels for people. I guess it's never just been fully explained to her. Flip. I mean, I'm just realizing how actually sheltered Nahida is. Like, okay, not sheltered. You know what I mean, though, with that terminology. Man, you've been so sheltered. Thanks. I've been locked in a single room for the last few hundred years. I'm going to be honest, dude. There are parents out there like that, admittedly. Ugh. Yep. By the way, you said there may be something that's trying to exploit their feelings. Any idea what that might be? Yes. What's common between Ilman and Katia's cases is that they've both lost someone dear to them. And now, they get to meet the people they cherish in their dreams again, 
And the people feel more real than anything a regular dream could hope to create. Instead of interpreting it as a result of their longing, I have to consider a more antagonistic explanation. Someone is taking advantage of their longing. But what would the motive be? I don't know. Yeah, they're just causing these people to dream. What are they after? Their lives! <laughs> You gotta go all the way and like, yeah. <laughs> you gotta do the hand thing. Sorry. Yeah, whatever you're doing. However you Their do. lives! <laughs> nice. Is that better? Yeah. Way better. That was perfect. <laughs> I see. I thought you were gonna go go with the, the like the spoiled rich girl laugh of her doing the hand thing. You went really hard on the mad scientist <sighs> laugh. Or like uh It's not the spoiled rich girl, brother. It's not the spoiled rich girl. That's that's the what? That's just the rich laugh. That's just the rich laugh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Or, you know, technically, that also is the laugh of, um... <laughs> Holy flip. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. The skeleton from One Piece. Oh, Brooke? Brooke, thank you. You forgot Brooke? I forgot Brooke's name for a second there. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's also just Brooke's laugh. He's not spoiled. He's dead. Well, that was a spoiler. What do you mean? It's a skeleton! I literally said the skeleton named Brooke. He's dead. Guys, spoiler, Brooke dies. <laughs> Brooke, Brooke dies. Dale, he's been dead! One of the Straw Hats dies. He is dead! Not does, is! Yeah? I don't know where to go with that. I don't know where to go with that, honestly. There's nowhere to go. We're just this here floating exactly with Paimon. what we need to investigate. Anyway, let's pay another visit to a moment of dreams. Boop. I have okay. a bad feeling about all this. I hope things haven't gotten any okay. worse. Okay, the other girl is missing now, I'm guessing. Right? Oh, she's falling asleep and she can't get up. She can't get up. She's falling asleep and she can't get up. I see what you did there, by the way. Uh, what have I done? You! Now we just need a life alert, like, commercial to play and everything. <laughs> Incoming! Sup? Whoa! People are sleeping, huh? Have I not returned? Have you- Oh, there we go. Oh. I've returned turned. Hey guys. You're back! How's everything here? Everyone taking a nap? Uh, I am so sorry, Great Dendro Archon. We're still trying to figure out how to explain the whole thing to everyone. Uh, that cannot. That guy in the back. Uh, more that, and more people seem to be on the floor. <laughs> that cannot be comfortable. I'm all for sleeping on your belly, but. It's not good. What is happening over there on the cold, hard stone floor? It's better to sleep on your back. <laughs> because of your warning, we've brought dreamers here, even if they were completely unaware of the danger. But okay. some of them have already fallen asleep, and they haven't woken up for a long time. I fear there's nothing we can do about it. Huh. A moment of dreams is just a small interest group. We don't have <gasps> any staff members to handle this. Daniel! What? What if the cute thing on the poster is actually secretly a Kirby boss, but it's like a Cthulian nightmare and it's siphoning people's dreams? Ah, uh, like... Flip, I forgot what it was called. I was gonna name an Eldritch Abomination. What? Like from Kirby or from like Cthulhu? I mean both would work. What? Okay. She I like how you know that. that. It, it seems my guess was correct. It's the Dendro Archon. She's back. Uh, yes? What happened? Why have we been gathered here? Many of you here have been experiencing some beautiful dreams. But I'm sorry to tell you that based on our investigation, there's some kind of conspiracy behind them. Imagine someone coming up to you and saying, hey, those great, good dreams you've been having, conspiracy. Before we learn the truth, please don't try to recreate the scenes in your dreams. Whatever you see, don't be tempted by them. Huh? But I don't think it's a big deal. Aren't we just dreaming? It's not like dreams will have an effect on others. See, it's people like you that bad things still happen. <laughs> We've already met two people who ran off to the countryside alone and got caught in dangerous situations by falling to the temptations in their dreams. That's right! These aren't just dreams! It's serious! 
All right, I get it, I get it. Mm. So does that mean once we have some conclusive results from the investigation, we can continue to enjoy these dreams? Yes. Maybe, Maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. Unless we have to get rid of whatever is causing these dreams, and then no. But also, you'll no longer be in danger, so... Enjoy yeah, your dreams. I still want to visit my sister in my dreams. It will depend on the results of our investigation. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say sounds a little offensive, Great Dendro Archon, but... I will lock you away. We had a discussion with the folks who just arrived here. In all of our dreams, we were able to reunite with people who were very close to us. They all seemed as if they were alive again, which makes us reluctant to wake up. Oh, your sister died. Mm. Oh. Yes, that's also what we've observed in our investigation. So if the results of this investigation would mean an end to those dreams, that'd be quite cruel to us. Do you want to die? Or is a world of fairy tales more precious than your reality? I don't think I can say anything on top of that. That was really good. All of us understand the danger, but perhaps you can't quite understand just how much those people mean to us. But none of them would want this. True. I don't think everyone will be on board with the plan to abandon these dreams for good. Before the conclusion of the investigation, they'll at least want to meet the people in their dreams one last time and say goodbye. Oh. We've never had such a difficult situation before. It appears that not many people are willing to cooperate. So they still want to return to their dreams despite knowing the danger? They're addicted. I mean... It's actually really believable, though. Who wouldn't want to see their loved ones that they've been missing for years? Or months, depending. It's clearly... It's hard to clearly say who's right and who's wrong. I mean, they're not in the wrong for wanting to see their loved ones again. But they but will die. At the same die. time, they will die. I, I would say that's definitely an issue. It's like, oh, but let them... They are dying. They are dying. Their there's, loved there's, ones would not want this for them. There's not a choice here. It's... it's no. There's no one... It, everyone has their... What the flip are these options? I don't know. If, if there is evil thing and it is actively hurting people, you gotta stand stop up. Stop it. You gotta stop it. You gotta fight back. Yeah. That's There's it. It's like, oh, but you know, maybe we wanna keep it alive and have it continue tormenting these people. It doesn't matter if they think it's good, it's still bad. It doesn't matter if someone's like, hmm, this is tasty. It doesn't matter if it's tasty, if it's poisonous. <laughs> doesn't matter how good something may feel or taste, if it's killing you, it's killing you. That's a good point. Yes. No, that, that's accurate. That's, yeah. Uh, maybe. I don't know. The I don't maybe? care about either of these options, so I'll just click randomly. That's right. I, am, I don't know which one. Compared with these sweet and beautiful dreams, our warnings of danger are dull and emotionless. It looks like the situation will inevitably spiral out of control. Violence is very imminent. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that was great. I mean, in a realistic situation, there would be people who'd be... Oh, there'd who be would people. get violent to keep these dreams. Probably, yeah. I can see that. Madness. Madness. The more time we waste, the more people will ignore our warnings and return to their alluring dreams. I mean, I think that girl was just falling asleep, actually. So, what should we do? Seems we have to go into a dream and find out the truth for ourselves. We have to do what now? I mean, she's the Archon of Dreams. Hedges. Oh, flip. Is there anyone here who's experiencing a marvelous dream right now? Wait, how'd she say uh, that I name? Think. Uh, yes, this way. Wait, I I said something over her. Was, did she say Pettish or Pedrush? No idea. Please take us there. Or Pettish. This lady refused to heed our warnings and fell asleep here a little earlier. Sorry, I might have spoken a little out of turn just now. I just I think that the gods really don't understand us sometimes. Not you're just mistaken, man. You're grieving. Yeah. So she your pain is understandable, but at the same time, you are killing yourself, and your sister would be very upset at that. Yeah. Way go. <sighs> All this commotion's making me wish I could experience this kind of dream too. Oh, this Stop. poor guy. This guy's like, like I'm, I'm feeling kind of left out. No way. I guess he doesn't have any dead loved ones. All right, all right. No need to get so worked up. Man, I'm so jealous of these people going through grief. <laughs> My guy! 
Actually, no, there actually is people like that in the world. Oh my goodness, don't- People don't. play the victim all the time. Don't do that. Actually, I can really sympathize with everyone's feelings on this. Oh yeah, 100%. I can sympathize. I can sympathize, but at the same time, it needs to stop. She's only asleep and hasn't started sleepwalking. It seems she hasn't sunk too deep into her dream yet. Do we also need to fall asleep if we want to go into her dream? Don't worry about that. I'm Lesser Lord Kusanali after all. Yep. Now, don't be nervous. Just close your eyes. Shouldn't we? Imagine yourself wait. as waves gradually rolling onto the beach. Wait, yo, this is actually making me tired, but wait, shouldn't we lie down first? You slowly wash over the shore. Wait. And sink into the sand. Yo. Dang, we just need a Nahida like ASMR like sleep video, and that would wow. be great. Oh, that's mean. What's Wait, who was that? Was that her sister? You look yeah. a little disoriented. Flap. Not it's this. Nothing. Seems this whole dream situation is getting to me too. Really? Paimon didn't notice anything. Anyway, seems like we've made it into the dream. <sighs> I thought we would arrive at some familiar scene, but we seem to have landed in a completely unfamiliar place. It was the little tiny spore creatures, oh, I should've known. So many giant plants! Whoa! Even in the sky! Amazing. Wh wh Theoretically, we should've gone straight into Debbie's dream. Things do seem to have gone a bit sideways here. What the flip? Anyway, Let's see if we can find any leads. What happens if she wakes up and we're still in here? <sighs> she hopefully we'll just get spit out. You know? Oh, still try on the heater. <laughs> Was that the heater that just went whoop? Actually, can I change my team in here? No. no. Ah, I should have done that beforehand. Oh well. Die, mushroom babies. Okay, Shine well, we're just gonna die. use Elhatham and we'll use the crit procs for silliness. Because that counts, right? But wait, does she enable other dendro reactions? Or is it only the core stuff? No idea. That's a lot of damage. Maybe Elhatham's just that good. There is no escape. Out of my way. I don't know, those are some big numbers. <laughs> That's some ridiculous damage. Those big numbers make my brain go, ah. <laughs> the, 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 my brain is like, oh, yes. Okay, what? That no mushroom, bounce? Yeah, no bounce. Huh. That's actually kind of upsetting. I like how that's what upsets you out of everything. That's the thing huh? that gets you. Of course. I have oh, no idea. Like Whoa! Way to go now. Let's go in and have a look. Oh my. Oh. In the dream world. We're here in the dream world. Coming to you live hey, from the Way Cafe channel. Familiar? Something. Isn't it Puspa Cafe? Oh, Paimon sees Debbie. She's right over there. Looks like we've come to the right place. These alluring dreams often portray a scene from real life, which concurs with our previous findings. Okay. Really? But well, what about that space we were in just now? Must have been some sort of hub. You can't mean... This is another collective dream? It's a samsara. Yes. Given that so many people have been experiencing these beautiful dreams, I would say it's very likely that they're interconnected. Compared to an interconnected dream, independent individual dreams would be much harder to manage and manipulate. Oh, uh, okay. Paimon gets it now. Well, let's go talk with Debbie. Oh, but there are some other people next to her. Uh, are they dreaming too? If this space is exclusive to Debbie's dream, 
Then the others beside her are most likely the people she cherishes. Oh. Anyway, we should confirm that first, just to be sure. Is that her brother and his fiance or something? That? Just leave it to me. I'll leave it to you. Oh! Oh, you nice! I'll, uh... That's nice. We're gonna read people's thoughts. You know, could we have been doing that this whole time? I don't... I don't know if they integrated that with the quest. I don't know. Well, we'll find out in her uh, second quest. Yeah, there you go. Try that from now on. Uh, oh. Okay. Mm, the coffee here still tastes the same as ever. <laughs> you two have traveled all around to that. Surely you've all tasted better coffee than this. I suppose so, but no matter how good things may be elsewhere, nothing beats the taste of home. Wait, your name is Gaspar? Gaston? <laughs> Dude, you need a song to go with you. That's right. It's hard to change your tastes. Anyway, here's to your return home. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, they died. Oh, flap! Oh, how could they be? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Huh? She sounds a little hesitant. They're dead. I've confirmed that this dream belongs only to Debbie, because I'm unable to hear the thoughts of the other two people with her. So, this is the power of the Dendro Archon? Dun 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 dun! Wop 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 wop! Uh, I'm gonna better watch your thoughts from now on. Yeah, I can read what you're thinking. <laughs> don't worry. I don't often use my powers like this. It's rather impolite. Except uh, all the people of Sumeru. Yeah, you know. All right. I need to get myself ready. It won't be easy to break it to her, but there's no avoiding it now. The, the Great Dendro Archon! Uh, what brings you here? Sup? I I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, but... Have you noticed that what's happening here doesn't quite match up with your memories? I... I don't quite understand, Great Dendro Archon. Isn't this dangerous? What do you mean? I get it! The Dendro Archon is trying to say that it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that we're able to gather here. Hey, how about a cup of coffee for all of you? My treat. We just returned from a fruitful adventure. Memories? A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Think carefully. You of all people should know what really happened to them. Yeah, you need Are to remember you sure they're dead or something. And chatting the day away like this isn't just a product of your own wishful thinking. Uh, uh, yes. The reports from the Steambird were true. The ship they were on struck a reef and sank. Yo, Steambird? What is that? Hmm. And I never heard from Bossima and Gaspar again. Oh. Hey, come on now. What are you talking about, Debbie? Uh oh. Yeah, trust your memories. Nothing you see here is real. I get it now. This is a dream, isn't it? Hmm? Imagine you're in a dream and a, and a floating fairy's like, nothing you see is real. I'd be like, you got it, floating fairy. The reality you know is all in your mind. I'd be like, I'm going. Freaking crazy, aren't I? But since it's my dream, it doesn't matter if this is real or not. I enjoy the way things are here. I no longer have to face the tragedies of real life. Cool. <sighs> These friends mean the world to me. Nobody else can understand me like they do. Oh, this is a gut-wrenching story There's quest. There's nothing wrong with continuing this dream, is there? I mean... It's not very healthy for you. I'm worried that if you were to continue dreaming like this, the lines between dreams and reality will gradually become too blurred for you. These dreams will always give you what you want, while reality remains full of pain and difficult situations. If you are not careful, you can get hurt. Don't worry. I still have control. I won't let it go that far. 
And that, that is the sound of someone who's doomed. <laughs> that is that is the sound of an addict. As that is the yeah, it's like I get to stop whenever I want. That doesn't control me. Yeah, I, yeah. That's what you say now. I've, I've heard that so many times in my life from other people. It's just like, uh. Uh-uh. Those are the famous words of addicts across the world. Yep. Near and far. Near and far. Freaking same. same thing. Same thing. Ah, it's almost like the root causes of it all are all the same. What? Crazy. What? Crazy. What? Silly. Sin. Be the same. Never change. Never. All over the world. Yep. All over the world. Crazy. All through freaking time. Yep. Never changes. It's like a boring knockoff that always stays the same and boring. Are you sure? Hey, how about we put all this troublesome stuff aside and get back to our coffee and snacks, hmm? Morbid thought. What's if we killed them here? <laughs> well, that was morbid. You were correct. Oh, <laughs> I mean, once if they die here in the dream too, do they just? I can only back? assume that whatever's messing with these people is what they are, but I don't know what that is. But yeah, sure. Why not put a sword? Would that in it. fix it? I don't know, man. Get the teapot and use that. Use that giant coffee pot behind them as like a mallet. It looks like a hammer. Dude, that looks like a monster in her weapon. <laughs> it does, bro. I'm waiting for the 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 kettle, the kettle hammer. I'm about to make you out of tea. I'm gonna about to grind you into tea stuff. It's what do they call a dream that? Or real life, I don't know. You should be happy. Ooh, you sound like a demon. That sounds like a demon. What? Ooh, I don't like that. You can't just brush off something like this. We don't even know how you people got here or where you even came from. Don't push it, Paimon. These people are important. They're not real! <laughs> Holy flip. It's like if you have someone that you love and then they die and then you put all their texts into an AI and tell it to replicate their behavior. That's not them! They're dead and gone. Wow, that's actually way too realistic in nowadays thing. I'm sure someone's probably going to do that or trying to do that. Or Holy. someone will do it. That actually sounds really scary. Let's not do if that, you are humans. With that. Don't. Don't do that. That's not good. Holy flip. That should never be a thing. They're dead and they're gone. Oh my goodness. That makes me feel sick, actually. Flip. I don't, I don't know. I don't like either of these options. Uh, I mean, they're I important it. people to Debbie. Why not? Do the second well, They are, but they're not them, though. No, no they're not. It sounds better than Don't Push It by Mun, though. <sighs> so I hate both. Thumb. Don't worry. This is, that is a, Neither of them are good. I don't like either of these options. <sighs> Sorry. Paimon didn't mean to upset anyone. No, I actually quite agree with you, Paimon. Yeah, Ugh. I got to as well. No, it's all right. I understand that you're just trying to look out for me. Yes! Indeed, this stream is nothing but a disgusting charade. And she is only a victim. Yep, that, this well, is true. It seems that for now, this place is still relatively harmless for you. Mmm, not when what they were saying. Yeah. But I wonder if there's any way to go deeper into the dream. Huh. What do you mean? Now that you mention it, I once heard a strange voice tell me that there's an entrance here. What? I'm what? not interested in checking it out at the moment, but maybe I'll go in and have a look later. Okay. Thanks for your help. Wait, we're not going to leave, right? Just as I expected. We're only on the surface of this dream. Let's go. What? Uh, huh? 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 What? I... I think I need a moment to calm down. Hey, what's with the sad face? Yeah, there's no need to worry about all that complicated stuff. Uh, uh, uh. There's way too many red flags. Yeah, I, I'm feeling that. Can we talk to other people? No, none of them are real. Darn it, can we shoot them with the Archon here? Beam? Dang it, they no. showed us in the tutorial. None of them are real. Well, but I will read her thoughts before we go. It's all just a dream. Yep. So wake up! 
I mean, maybe you... maybe wait for us to get out of here first, though. That's why you spend time with those that you still have. It's true. Whoa. Okay, this is very like much like the abyss. Indeed, this was actually probably the trial run. Or actually, I think they may have done this somewhere what? else. What are we doing here again? Uh, wait a second. We were just up there. No, down there. Uh, did we go up or down? I don't know. Uh, we're up a layer. By the looks of it, since that was the bottom of the plant we saw before. So we're now above where we were before. Okay. Don't Easy peasy. Panic. This is how dreams work. <sighs> we Whatever left you say. Debbie's dream, but the dream is still continuing onward. I'm not sure where it'll lead us. This dream has the ability to create imaginary people, which is why people are so unwilling to wake up. If it weren't for what we just saw, Paima might still find that a bit hard to believe. So what awaits us further in the dream? I have a guess. If these dreams are connected, then there should be some sort of order to them. The fact that Debbie was able to realize that she was dreaming means that she is not very deep in the dream yet. But the space we're in has been turned upside down. Do you remember the characteristics of dreams that I mentioned earlier? Oh, right! Dreams are chaotic! That's right. It's possible that we're heading deeper into this dream now. And the deeper we go, the closer we'll get to the essence of the dream. Do you think we're gonna have to fight some, like, really crazy boss or something at the end of this? Mm-hmm. I wonder. Right! So the answers might be waiting for us deeper in the dream! We should hurry. Yes. And we should get ready for whatever we may encounter. Mm. It looks like we may need yeah, to put I, something I, I, I know, Paimon. You don't need to tell me. The Bridge of uh, Mystical Dreams! Boop. Oh, yeah. Well, that looks disconcerting. That looks... Yeah. Oh, never mind. Sup, dudes? How you rocking? Y'all having a fine day? Okay, let's not. I actually do quite dislike the rock. Bird. Whoa, whoa! Tactical nuke incoming! What was that? That was the umbrella proxy. Oh, that's what the umbrella proxy looks like. I didn't know that. That's cool. Oh, we're just moving on. All right. Do, 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 we in another person's dream? No. Chest. When it rains, it seems to disappear slowly. Yes, and it appears oh. again as soon as the rain stops. Well. It's less like a flower, and more like a dangerous slime that's trying to keep out of sight. Here we go again with that heat of the analogy. With all these dendro corresponding, you don't stand a chance. I'm you sorry. Do not stand one chance. Whoa, that was very therapeutic for me. Okay, if the water archon does make it rain, kind of an instant. A water archon and the Hita combo is unstoppable. <laughs> With like what, Raiden Shogun and maybe Kuki or huh? no, no, maybe not. We're around, Pyro. <laughs> yes, we did. We just fell upwards. That's not helping, Nahida. Uh, Paimon has no clue what's going on anymore. That was okay, great, Paimon. That was a really good dialogue. Like not that. everything has to make sense. What, what do you think a team like a what? Hydro Archon, Dendro Archon, Electro and then something Archon to activate it, and then Wait, other things. Weren't we already here a little earlier? Yeah, you would either need Kuki or uh, the Shogun or any other really good electro applier in the future. I guess Fischl also could work in that case. Not the best, she but she'd could, be okay. But she's not good at detonating things, though. She's not, so that you would be a like an okay thing. Triggers. You either want a Kuki or you want a uh, Shogun. Dang. That's this really pretty, by the way. Yomon's dream. Yep. Huh? Why would he start dreaming again? Didn't we warn him? Yes, but... It seems that the danger isn't enough to stop him from longing for his wife. Okay, that, as dumb as he is for doing this, it's understandable. 
But we still need to kill this dream. Yeah, we still gotta kill this dream. Man's got a child to look after. Yep. I, I do agree. Replace the dream with booze and he can't be an alcoholic when you have a kid. That, you, dang! Based on what we've learned so far, he must be sleeping more deeply for his dreams to appear here. But fortunately, he already knows this from before, so hopefully we'll be able to wake him up. I don't know, that didn't work for Debbie. Oh, your kid's here. Me gone, demons. Oh, oh boy. it's you. Incredible. I didn't know you would appear in my dream, too. Well, at least you understand it's all a dream. Did you say dream? Wait, so you know this is a dream? Of course. Such good things rarely happen to me in real life these days. Mm. Here, let me introduce everyone. This is Minar, my wife who I mentioned before. And this is our daughter, Hydar. Hello. It's a great honor to meet the Dendro Archon. Mm hmm Whoa, Dad. You know the Dendro Archon? That's amazing! I'm getting really mixed vibes right now. I want to choke slam both of you. <laughs> Not the people themselves. These... The, the, whatever's pretending to be Whatever's them. pretending to be Unless them. that's really his daughter, but I don't think that can work like that. No. Dang, yeah, this is very, this is almost demonic, honestly. This is, what the flip? And what's this? <gasps> is it a new toy? Oh! No, oh! No, it's Paimon, not a toy! It's Paimon, the floating action figure? Yes. Yeah. She can kick would, and punch! I would say doll, but that doesn't quite fit her. Yeah, I know. Uh, anyway, now's not the time for that, Nahida. This doesn't seem to add up with what we were expecting. Hmm. You're right. Let me think for a bit here. Did you secretly go back to that place again on your own? Oh, right. We didn't see him in a moment of dreams earlier. Paimon thought he'd gone home. This is why you never give an alcoholic a taste of booze again. Or freedom. Not Sorry. saying that an alcoholic can't be free. I just had to make sure that Hydar could get a chance to see her mother. Oh, wait. Did so you actually bring your daughter here, or is this a dream version and your daughter is actually terrified as you're in a dreamwalking state? I don't know. I had gotten pretty familiar with the hike, so I brought Hydar with me. I'm just glad we didn't meet any monsters along the way. Holy flip, that's actually his daughter. Holy flip, what? Mm, I don't think it is. What if it is? Mm-mm. I assume she's just freaking out in the real world. What the fuck? Yes, I'm glad too. I didn't expect her to grow up so fast. Man, I don't mm. like whatever you are. It must have been very hard for him. I regret not being able to fulfill my role as a wife and a mother. You are wow, wow. Mm. I'm getting I'm getting very upset very quickly, actually. Oh, no, don't talk like that. Let's leave all that unhappy stuff behind for now. Even if we're in a dream, it's still a blessing that we've been able to reunite in this way. I want to chuck her off the sign. <laughs> what should we do now? Should we tell him the truth? We already did. Yeah, what, what would we tell him? Well, that it's a dream? Well, this is using him and abusing him? He doesn't care. I think he knows this already. You can... You can let me break the news. I should be the one to do it. I'm I sorry, know. but I should tell you that your dream did not create us. We are real people with our own consciousness. Oh. Like the last time we met, we are still investigating this dream, and we've already learned some things about it. So you mean there's something nefarious with this dream as well? Hmm? Ilmon, what's going on? It's okay, Daniel. Just stay strong. Ah, uh, I've never wanted to... Mm. It seems the reunion of our family is destined to only be temporary. Huh? Is mom leaving? Is that his kid? Hmm. 
Nah. She I... wouldn't be pulled into the same dream as his. It would be only his. Unless it's a sentient creature creating this, then technically it could pull her into it. I don't know how that would work, though. Maybe. But in all likelihood, that is indeed how things will end. Oh. No, Mom, you can't leave! I'm so conflicted. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm afraid I don't quite understand what's going on. Don't worry, Haidar. Mom's not going anywhere. Please, don't cry. Do not touch that child. Uh, yeah. Minar doesn't understand any of this. It's not her, my guy. I'm fully aware that this is a dream. So that's why I've never told her the truth, but... Wait, like, what? Okay, this is, like, me going heavily into fantasy. What if it's actually, like, messing with, like, like The Departed or something? That would even be sicker. But I don't think it's gonna be that, no, right? It's not acting like how they would be. Kind of like how the other two were trying to lull her further Back in. Yeah, I guess that's true, yeah. Never mind. It's not like I would know what to say. I mean... I don't get any of the complicated stuff, but regardless of whether this dream is good or bad, you're here to resolve it. This man right. just needs a hug! Holy flip! Hug your daughter. <laughs> Go out and see the world, something, man. Maybe travel. Definitely travel, actually. Maybe go for a vacation. Just a yeah. Go see the world with you and your daughter. That sounds nice. That sounds very nice. Yes. Then please. Let us enjoy this moment for just a while longer. It, it's seriously dangerous. You probably shouldn't. Regardless but, uh, of whatever caused this dream to come to pass, I feel extremely grateful to have had the chance to reunite with my family. It's not her, man. But does this dream really have to disappear? Yes. A hundred percent. Not even a second of doubt. I'm yeah. afraid so. Sorry. I'm very not sorry. Aww. Don't say aw. Okay. I mean, it is sad. I see. Please, it's depressing. Come this way. You can go even deeper into the dream by heading in this direction. How do you know that? I have heard that the further down you go, the more pleasant the dreams become. And the more you want to stay. Who's gonna be down there? The answer you're looking for may also be found there. Go ahead. Thank you for helping us, and I'm truly sorry. You're welcome. It's not like I have any say in the matter. I'm just an ordinary person, after all. Who am I to interfere with the work of a god? I don't Ooh. think that's what's mattering here. Yeah, that's not, that's not really the point, actually, here. I'm gonna be real. I'll be right behind you. I should at least let Minar and Hydar know what's going on here. I, wait, you shouldn't follow. Otherwise, my daughter might be mad at her mother after we wake up. Okay, so it is her, apparently. Mm. We're not doing something bad. No, we're not, Paimon. We this is something good. That depends on how you define good and bad. No, not really. This entire thing is entirely messed up. Hey. Yeah. Nope. Dang it, the you're right! One. Ah! Is this too cruel for Hydar? How can I ever get her to come to terms with this? Bro, the cruel thing is that you brought her here and she's panicking as you're in a sleepwalk state. Probably. Dang it, she is freaking fake. I... Mm, this is all you messed up. it because it would be too cruel. It would be too cruel, but it is what it is! <laughs> Dang it, man! Flap! It's the same place again. This place is almost like a flight of stairs that connects all the dreams together. <sighs> but they appear to be getting more and more aggressive. Whoa. Regular stairs wouldn't try to attack us. Th that is not a stair. Let's recap what we've learned so far. Right. Something seems to be off about our theory. Elmon is clearly aware that he's dreaming. And he's enjoying it. Of course, he's spending time with those who are departed. Yep, it's the lull. It's lulling him in. Rather than dreaming on a deeper level, he almost seemed more awake. 
I believe we're on the right track, but we just need another explanation. Far gone. It's not that the dreams are getting deeper, it's the owner's attachment to the dreams that's getting stronger. Flip. But you would never mistake dreams for real life, right? Of course not. Although sometimes I almost wish I could. Sometimes oh, no. Paimon almost wishes her dreams could be real. Well, you dream about eating food. But it's just a quick thought. It's not long before Paimon's thinking about other things. Like sticky honey roast. See, this is why she's able to forget. It goes from Listen, food to food. We're real beings living in the real world. And that's where our focus should be. Mm hmm? This also explains the insubstantiality of our dreams. No matter what they may become, we don't really care. Dreams are still fun, unless they're nightmares. Yeah. But if we decide to abandon reality and embrace our dreams, then our dreams would become far more substantial. Oh, wait! Paimon's starting to get it now! Your mind will begin to build the dream far more attentively, which in turn will make it feel more real. Do you remember how the Akasha can turn dreams into Nyana energy? Nyana? Nyana? Constructing a realistic dream consumes a similar energy. Which means there's another dreamer out. Uh, another dream out there that's responsible for this. Does that mean there's a host of these dreams here like Milu during the Subzero's festival? If we wake that person up, this collective dream will end, right? Mm-hmm. Most likely. But the collective dream in Sumeru City was created by the Akasha, and now the Akasha has been turned off. This has nothing to do with the Aranara, and humans are not capable of creating a collective dream. Which means... It's, it's not gonna be Ruka Devada, right? Because that, like, why would she be hurting people? Don't know. Those has something to do with the Akasha. Huh? So, did someone manage to restart the Akasha? Mm, that's impossible. But they are probably a scholar of the Academia who had a close connection with the Akasha. Even so, how did they manage to do it? And how did they choose the host? Let's keep moving. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the end yet. Once we know their motive, all the questions will resolve themselves. Mmm, okay. Huh. Whoa! Oh, wait, sorry. Moving platform. Boom. Where is this going? Sorry, my fishy friend. It's time to die. It's time to die. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Be good. Be good, fish. Thank you. Oh, wow, you are super dead. Nice iframes, dude. And you were as easy as a jigsaw puzzle. It's odd, bro. It's odd. Okay, so where are we going now? Hilly Charles. What? Wait. Go. Oh, never mind. I see everything. Oh, this is unfortunate That's for you. That's not even close. What? <laughs> it's not even close <laughs> to a problem. <laughs> I'm like, oh no! Oh wait. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. C3 Nahida. C3 Nahida in the rain. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's... Yeah, it's kind of just over. I'm really hoping for the Dendro Archon to cause it the rain. Oh, the you mean Hydro? Hydro. turned into rain! Then let's get through here before the water level rises. I mean, that's fine with me. Oh, whoa, wait. That is rising. Whoa, wait a minute! Hey, yo. Oh, I get it, because the rain from the top half fell to the bottom half. And now it's doing the same. Oh, I'm gonna drown. Don't drown. Don't drown. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, regain that stamina. That's how that works. Yep. I'm really glad that the water stopped going up because we'd be in trouble if it Super didn't. Super would have ran out of time. Okay, so there's two of them. Doink. And. We've doink. Made it. The destination is right ahead. Yo! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Whose dream is it now? Is it ours? The door of resurrection activated. Uh oh. Whose dream is this? Wow. Apparently, maybe ours. A new place. Wait, what if it's us? Doesn't look like it. Who the flip? Okay, lots of people. All uh, right. Well, 
pretty background. It's new to Paimon in this dream. This should be the final destination. It's the final de destination. Yeah. <laughs> really? It's more ordinary than I imagined. Yeah, these are just ordinary city streets. I mean, admittedly cool. They're very cool. I have powers related to dreams, so it's usually easy for me to tell who's dreaming and who's created by dreams. I guess only those who have thoroughly accepted this dream will be able to come here. There are so oh. many people here. How can we find the host? Oh, so this is like a nexus hub for everyone. Got it. Don't worry. I have a way. Huh? Oh no. It's an it's an MMO. Oh no. You're right. Oh talk. talk. Sit. Sit. Hello. Hello. Ha how's your day going? Okay, good boy. Any chests just lying around? Uh okay, so we can talk to them? Oh wait, I mm. <laughs> That's a bit noisy today, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? You think so? I don't feel anything out of the ordinary. Oh, maybe you're right. It's always been quite peaceful here. Okay. So which one of you is real? You, you are. are. This is always so calm. <sighs> I wish I were the same. He's just in an ordinary dream, so it shouldn't be him. Got it. So we gotta talk to everyone and also read their thoughts. What should I buy? Hey. Tell me what you think, Shadia. Ooh, how about this? I think it would really suit you. Uh, which one do you think is in the dreamer and which one's the dream? Left is real, right is fake. Let me have a look. Oh, it looks great! This is a fun little game. Yeah, she'll want the confidence. Yep. Yep. She wants the confidence of her friend. Shadia has such good taste. Yep. I can never go wrong with her opinion. Mm-hmm. No, it doesn't seem to be her. Just double making sure. <laughs> Is that guy real? The freak? Huh? No, no name. Dang. He looked cool. The man's oh. not even following me. He's not. Everyone hold hands. He's not real. She Just is not real. Oh, it's gonna oh, be the kid, probably. Here now. It's probably the kid. So let's do the other people. Oh, if if I'm wrong, real? I'm sorry. It's not going to rain soon, is it? Then maybe we should head home. I don't want to get rained on. Yeah, let's wait for the weather to get better before we head back out again. It's not like we're in a rush or anything. Okay, so this time the real one's the girl? Leave your bets in the comments below if this is your first time seeing it. <laughs> yep! Sometimes I wish Rakesh could be more assertive, but... I guess I'm also happy enough with the way things are. No, it's not her, unfortunately. I will say, that guy did sound very unsure. Maybe not. Oh, the, oh that are. looks very okay, well, promising. First. Flip a family. It's Hadar, though. It oh, it is the guy. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wow, what a beautiful place. Look, Mom. The scenery is so pretty Oh, here. maybe this is the right one. Ah, flip. Be Never careful. mind. careful. Don't fall now. Oh, hey. Seems we somehow managed to get here before you. Huh? How did you beat us here? Didn't you have to go through that super crazy confusing place? Um, I'm not sure what you're talking about. All we did was walk through that passageway, and here we are. Ah, uh, tried stopping us. We're in a dream. The concept of fixed spaces doesn't always apply here. Makes sense. I get that. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. I see everything. Who doesn't want a dream to last forever? Not me! It's, uh, He's it's... just entered the dream recently. It's definitely not him. No, I don't want that. I mean, dreams are nice, man, but I... I, I, bro, I... I want to make my dreams reality, if that makes sense. Like, the cool things I dream, I want that to be real. Oh, whoa. Whoa. I we... see everything. Wait, we can talk to you. Why can we talk to you? Talk to her, I guess. Wait, is she gonna make it go forward, or...? I, if we miss one, whatever, I guess. Wow, what a beautiful... Be careful. Oh, never mind. Don't oh, it's the same exact now. thing. Never mind. Oh, it was just leading us to the right oh, one. Oh, okay. hey. Oh. Seems we... Huh? 
Like the academia um, clothes didn't give it away, cool. admittedly. Do, 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 so do. You create this thing to be able to see someone that you loved? Probably. Remember to come to the flower shop later. I've got a surprise for you. My heart's out for you, man, oh, but seriously. sure thing, Amira. I'll be over as soon as I'm done with this. Oh, wait, is it the girl? Wait a minute. Hey. No, it's definitely the guy. Okay, nope. that threw me off for a second. The way they wrote Sometimes that was I weird. Was wait, we didn't get you to hear know, that. I actually read, read the other girl. Better if you play music for them. And on that note, it's been a while since I last heard you play. Sorry, I've been a little busy these last couple days. Oh. This is gonna hurt me. Oh, the Dendro Archon. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Whoa. Okay. Hmm? Oh, welcome, great Dendro Archon. And your companions, too. Welcome. I'm Amira. I run the flower shop here. And this is my husband, Moses. Oof. Yes, how may we help you? I don't know how to feel. You already know all about me. There's no need for all the pleasantries. Perhaps I should call you the dream's owner? <laughs> As expected of the Dendro Archon. Suddenly sorry, evil. Amira. It seems my research has attracted the Dendro Archon's attention. Why don't you go back to the flower shop? I'll come help you a little later. Uh-oh. Okay, of course, dear. I'll see you later. This is not a healthy way of coping, my guy. It appears that I was too naive to think I could deceive the Dendro Archon in person like this. Mm, yeah, you're also entirely evil. <laughs> to avoid looking like too much of a fool, allow me to ask the first question. How well would you say you understand this dream? Bro, what is happening? What are this you doing? This dream was built by the Akasha, and it has the power to create imaginary people who no longer exist in the real world. As for you... You found a unique way to become the owner of this dream, going so far as to have even given up the ability to wake up again. Oh. Given up the ability to wake up? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Impressive. You truly are the embodiment of wisdom. Wait, are you like crazy bad or are you crazy just crazy? Crazy crazy. Got Please, it. Please, tell me how you were able to arrive at such a conclusion. In return, I'll answer the question you're most curious about. He's just very prideful. Got it. It's simple. Apart from you, this space only consists of real people who are dreaming and imaginary people who are created here. Although you are here and appear no different from the others, I can't sense your dream. How can I wake up a person who's already awake? Fascinating. Since you're the fully awake owner of this dream, it can never collapse from you waking up. Oh, Flip, do we have to kill you? Oh, well. <laughs> Theoretically, this should also give you absolute control over this place. I have to admit, it really doesn't get much better than that. Except but for the fact of not waking up. That, one question remains. How did you do it? Isn't the answer right in front of you, great Dendro Archon? It's because I've dedicated my entire reality to this dream. Uh-oh. That's a fancy way of saying you gave up on life. Yeah. I uploaded my entire consciousness into the Akasha when it was still running. Oh. You're an AI. Your entire consciousness? It's insane. Actually, this all started because of an accident. My original goal was not about the Akasha or a collective dream. No. You were motivated above all to create a hyper-realistic person. The desire to reconnect with a real loved one is the one shared sentiment between all our dreamers. That's right. However, human models are too complicated. Only the Akasha has a Nyana energy supply powerful enough for me to generate and sustain my models. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Akasha is truly magnificent. If I siphoned a minuscule amount of its energy, nobody would even notice. 
and even this minuscule amount of energy was already more than enough for my purposes. My purposes. Even using just crude methods, I was still able to train a fairly realistic person. Uh, imagine if he said, my purposes. My purposes are all powerful. Yes, trained them. Well, I did. Mm, yes. I named my first work Amira. Oh, your wife. Wait, is she even your wife? Or did you just literally make For yourself a wife? You made an AI waifu. I hate to tell you, she's not real. Ugh. Huh? You mean the girl we just saw? She and I entered the academia on the same oh, day. Oh, never mind. Starting with admission procedures, we bumped into each other six times on just that first day. Whoa, you remember that? Wait a minute. Was she not into you at all, but in this world she is? Uh-oh. That's kind of creepy. That's not creepy at all. What? Because of that one day, we eventually went on to oh, fall never mind. in love. We studied, conducted research, and made breakthroughs together. Okay, that's really wholesome. Our rhythm was always in step. I felt like we were two separate bodies that shared the same heart. Usually what marriage is. However, Ella's eye later took her from me. Ah, oh, yeah. So you're gathering others like you. Yes. I need more training samples to perfect Amira's personality. Oh. I found their details in the Akasha's database. Using the pretext of testing for mental health disorders, I implanted signaling devices in their bodies. This is why you don't let random government officials plant things in you. I just want to point that out. Wow. Holy flip. This way I could connect them to a network and Amira could feel their yearning. Little by little, they helped her to grow and develop a warm human personality. I, this is so sad, though, admittedly. This guy is literally just driven insane by the death of his wife, which admittedly does affect a lot of people, but bro. But my guy, she's dead. She's dead, and you're bringing other people into this. To improve my efficiency and allow myself to focus on nothing but my research, I uploaded my consciousness as well and became a part of the network. Wait, wait, wait. So are well, I hate to tell you this, you're dead. Are you dead or are you like, is there two of you now? Well, it depends if uploading his consciousness killed him. Yeah, because it would either, it could either be a copy or it's just him. I hate to tell you this, but you're dead. You're probably dead. Not that you care, but at the same time, you're not exactly real anymore, are you? Huh. Technically speaking, it's not that you won't wake up, it's that you can't wake up. Oh jeez. Yes, because the Akasha was suddenly turned off, I lost all of my Nyana energy. Nyana. I became imprisoned in the very network I had constructed. At first, I panicked. But, after coming to grips with the situation, I realized that I could restart this world as long as I could find a replacement source of Nyana energy. The uh, freaking Nyana! I know they just explained it, but like, really. I assume he's siphoning life from the people in the dreams. That Flap! Everyone in the network is providing you with Nyana energy! That's kind of messed up. That's all there really is to it. I don't think uh, I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just saving them as well as myself. Yeah. I'm sorry, you need to die. <laughs> huh. I provide a beautiful dream, and in return, I harvest their Nyana energy as fuel for the dream. That's why you look so tired. You're actually dying. They can wake up anytime they wish. People need to sleep anyway, so why not have some beautiful dreams while they rest? You remind me of that one guy from Demon Slayer. Oh yeah, the guy in the, uh, the Mugen Train arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I that agree. was cruel. This is the home we spent a great deal of effort on to build for ourselves. Yeah, she's right. We're staying here of our own free will. You all know. Flap! Uh, well, time to become a public enemy. Let's go. My favorite, one of my favorite hobbies. Surrounded by a bunch of addicts. All right. I don't understand this at all, but... I just want to spend some more time with my family. Oh, please. I don't want them to be sad. Stop. Back. Back, you demon. Back. <laughs> Get the flip out of here. Thank you, dear. Great Dendro Archon, 
I hope you can understand. No, no, you all seriously have a problem. I very much understand. You need That's help. That's why it's so important to stop it. You don't need to gather around here. It's all right. Oh, I'm sure it is. Moses. <laughs> Moses? That is a fun name. It's like Moses, but not. But not. And evil. The great Dendro Archon is nothing if not kind and considerate towards her people. She won't interfere with what we're doing here. I want to delete your consciousness from this. <laughs> it's just data. <laughs> you are just data now, anyway. Huh. Nothing but a puppet of your former self. Uh-oh. Now he's playing dirty. Use the imaginary people he created to influence the real people. Hmm. He turned the real dreamers against us. It seems like I won't need you to answer my last question. You're willing to tell me all your secrets because you have nothing to fear. If you use real people as your weapon and turn them against their Archon, then there's nothing the Archon can do. Why? I don't know. I mean, do you want your people to die? No, 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 maybe she actually- I don't know. Let's see what happens. They just want to be with the people they cherish. I don't think there's anything wrong with me providing them with that opportunity. Mm-hmm. They don't wish to eternally part with their spouses and friends. What's so wrong about that? Ooh, he's got crazy eyes. I think he is crazy. If you understood humans a little better, or had also experienced firsthand oh. the absolute devastation of loss, then perhaps you wouldn't be so cold towards us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, ho, ho. I'm cool. You don't know the first thing about her, jerk. Yeah. Well, here you were making your robotic waifu. She was trapped in a jail cell, you freaking jerk. Yeah, and you could have helped, actually. If you had used your talents and determination for a just cause, you could have become a sage of the new generation. Quite true. Unfortunately, you've committed one of the six cardinal sins of the academia by attempting the forbidden and fearing none. Mm. That's you an interesting sin. You feelings with cold Nyana energy and deprive them of the pain that they have to face. Yo, I'm trying to take that seriously, but every time I hear Nyanya energy, Nyanya. I'm just like, I'm, it's way too funny to me. You lured them into these dreams, and even now, remain completely unaware of how evil all of this truly is. It is pretty messed up, dude. This is entirely disgusting. Pain? Luring? Those kinds of things haven't existed here from the moment this world was created. She's right here. This is Ilmon's child, Hydar. Hmm? Okay. Huh? My daughter? What's wrong with her? This dream relies on a set network, which means that only those with devices planted in their bodies can enter this world. Oh, the kid... Doesn't oh, it's not real. Carefully think back and retrace your steps. I secretly went back to the mountainside with Hydar. Minar was already there waiting for me, and Hydar was able to see her mother. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah, that. You mean, she isn't actually the real Hydar? <sighs> yeah. And y'all doubted. Y'all doubted, indeed. See, now I don't look like a bad person for saying I wanted to choke slam both of them. <laughs> I'm really glad this turned out this way, because, oh man, that, that makes that way better. Okay. See, I'm not the bad guy. You weren't, you weren't crazy. You were right. You called it. High five. Yeah, I think that deserves a high five. That was great. See? Good job. I know you're still judging me, but it's fine. Good job, Daniel. Being ready to, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Being ready to absolutely choke slam two potentially innocent. <laughs> One potentially innocent person. Uh, yeah, one potentially innocent person. Okay. No, because unlike you, she can't enter this dream. The moment you came into this dream, it created a Hydar to realize your wish of reuniting with your family. That's just cruel. So, tell me, where's the real Hydar? You called it! I'm just saying. She's still out there on the mountainside. Probably freaking out where you went. That's right. And she must have been terrified to see her father not in his right mind. 
Oh, just like I said. Not to mention the monsters in that area. The situation is very dangerous. Yeah, or who you knows? Maybe you even walked off a cliff in front of her. Yeah, you need to wake up. If Hydar's still out there, then... What are you talking about, Dad? I don't understand. Okay, you need to wake up. You need to wake Can up right I now. Can I please chuck this fake child? <laughs> Only because it's fake, Daniel. <laughs> Only because it's fake. I must wake up right now. I can't leave her there alone. There you go. Good man. Oh. <sighs> now the other people are down. Uh oh. It seems the others have also remembered something. Oh, oh, wow. It's almost like there's still things worth living for. Yep. Your mad science plan won't work. People try to avoid pain and stay in their perceived bubbles of safety out of an instinct to protect themselves. This is human nature, but it is also one of their weaknesses. Yeah, actually. I would say that is a weakness. Yeah. However, why are there still so many people striving to move forward even when they know the path ahead is dangerous and painful? It's because people don't only live for themselves. They have families, loved ones, friends, and communities. They have dreams that they are still trying to achieve. But in this dream, you showed them only the most comfortable and soothing things. This entire world has been built on the foundation of buried and unseen pain. It's all just a well-devised scam. Indeed. Yeah. It seems like I've stayed in the dream for too long. Nice. Bye-bye. I still have so many things I haven't done. Yep. There you go. <laughs> I thought gods didn't understand humans. That would have explained why they created such a flawed world where countless tragedies took place. Mm. Now listen here, you whippersnapper. One, that's so disconnected. That, that, that's one, not accurate. Two, I don't think the Archons made this place. Oh, uh, they didn't. That's the thing. So, like, not only is that not correct, but it literally isn't accurate. My mans. So you're wrong twice. <laughs> Don't make me sit down here and explain. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Dale, you tell me I'm taking a sip. You guys. I'm taking a sip from my comically large bottle. Let's go. This is my entire day's worth of water. I need to drink way more of it. It's like, your, it's like the size of your stomach, actually. Bigger, actually. Freaking far bigger. <laughs> oh, man. Just don't drink it all at once. I would die. <laughs> I yeah. didn't expect you to arrive at the answer through sheer power of observation. But unfortunately, it means nothing now. Mm, what do you mean? If you wanted to spend a little time in the waking world, go right ahead. In any case, I wanted to spend some time alone with Amira. Is he just going to kill himself? As no. long as this dream continues to exist, you'll come back. No, we just have to make sure you're not. Humans aren't as strong as you think. And even if you're a god, they won't always listen to you. Ooh. Okay. Okay. It's time to purge all the extraneous data and noise. Oh, so you're deleting yourself? Ah, monsters, be careful! Oh, he summoned two rock oh, birds. Okay. He is evil. Please, get out of here and <laughs> find somewhere safe. I am a master of this dream. I can create endless waves of monsters with the snap of a finger. Don't yeah. worry. They'll wake up before they get hurt. Amira doesn't like to see others in pain. If you know what's good for you, leave now! Voice actor's going hard for this guy, I will say, by the way. Props to him. Oh, Haley Charles. Oh, can you make it rain? Are you a rain one? Can't nah, no, it's, it's a, a wind one. Freaking animal one. That was a weird place to put the AOA cookie, but whatever. More! Sweet! Oh, they're already all electric. Okay. Regardless, and aggravate them. Wicked. Shoink! Okay. Do we just have to kill everything? Okay. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> you haven't won just yet. This dream is mine! If I go into hiding here, not even an Archon can ever find me. And as long as people yearn for happiness, they will return here and rebuild this paradise! 
<sighs> Into the fountain he goes. What's that? The stream is spiraling out of control. It's kind of now. Oh, that looks like the uh, the oh. glitches that happened in the main story. Oh boy. Amira. Oh no. Amira. Is your wife going to turn into a monster? <laughs> Amira, are you all right? I don't feel well. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Please, no. As evil as this guy is, that was... That was horrific. Well. Oh, well. So oh, I thought he died. Get well. away from there. Don't ruin my flowers. This is... Wait, are the others still alive? Yes. Whoa. Well. Ah, oh, fuck, there's too many. Oh boy. One of you has to die soon, right? Eventually. Yes, shut up. Just decide for yourself. Flip. Wait, where'd the boss go? Right there. Ah. Oh, flip. Okay. They're all here. There is no escape. Torn to oblivion. Oh, flip. nice, nice. Not nice. Still got hit. Oh. Oh my. I'm not Amira. I'm what? Wait. Oh, that's over. Uh, you're what? Hey, that, yo, yo, there was more to that. Game, you didn't let it finish. You're what? <laughs> you're. What, what? what happened just now? He's not very proficient in using the Akasha's technology, and he spent a lot of Nyana energy creating monsters. Now the system is out of control. Do you think this is going to play into the theory of Genshin is maybe just one giant simulation somehow or something like that? And that was like part of the... Well, like, except we're in the Akasha at the moment. We're in the Akasha, but maybe it's a, it's a, a, an Akasha inside a, another thing. Inside a game. Yes. Maybe, all the I don't people know. he created also turned into monsters, including Amira. It's terrible, even for a dream. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Brought it upon himself. Even Paimon's freaked out. Uh, Paimon can't imagine what they're going through. It's like a horrible nightmare. The good news is that the chaos seems to have subsided. Now we only need to wake up the people here and let them return to their real lives. Amira. My dear Amira. They're all gone. It was just a big dream after all. Indeed. I couldn't change my fate. And my knowledge turned out to be useless. What a cruel world. I mean, you're the one that caused this. Uh, your knowledge actually could have been used for good. Admittedly. You could have saved so many lives and made life better for so many others. And yet you decided to use it just for this. Oh, flip. Do you still think this is our fault? I don't care about that anymore. The Nyana energy used to sustain this dream has all been transformed into monsters. This dream will soon collapse in my consciousness along with it. Let me disappear with Amira. I'd rather turn into dust than to ever wake up again. I don't think well, we I can. I hate to tell you, your body's kind of dead. <laughs> oh. It seems that everything that's happened is too much for him. He's lost all hope. I want to say that he's only getting what he deserves, but I can't help but also feel sorry for him. I, I don't. I I do. I definitely do. He's still crazy and bad, and he did a lot of evil, but that was horrific. The amount horrific. of pain he's caused these other people, I... Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I, like, it's, it's horrific, though, what happened here. It is, but he completely brought this fate upon himself. It was self-inflicted, which is even crueler. Honestly. I think seeing Amira turn into a monster was punishment enough for him. After comprehending the hollowness of the unreal, 
It's time to revisit the meaning of existence. Existence? <laughs> I'm different from the others. I've long given up everything outside of my consciousness. Oh. Using my knowledge of the Akasha, I have a way to extract your consciousness from here and put it inside a knowledge capsule. And you're gonna the be a capsule. Has probably kept your body, so you should be able to wake up soon. You're gonna be gotcha. <laughs> We're gonna turn you literally into gotcha. No need. Just let me disappear. Reality means nothing to me now. This isn't compassion. I won't let you escape your punishment by simply disappearing. As Dang. for your life after that, it will be up to you how you want to exist. Yo, I like whoever wrote that. This isn't compassion. That is... Dang. Alright, Traveler and Paimon. We should go back. We can finally wrap up this whole thing. How do we get back? I don't know. Oh. Ooh, that was pretty. Uh, uh huh. Um, uh, is that Ruka no. Devada? What's wrong, Nahida? Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, let's tell the people here to gather at a moment of dreams after they wake up. Oh boy. Oh, great! You're awake! Everybody Yo. has started to wake up, and we've heard similar reports <sighs> from around the city as well. Mm. From the looks of it, you were able to successfully resolve the issue. By the way, you may want to tell the citizens here to remove all the objects that that guy put into them. Possibly. Yes, though it took us a good deal of effort. There will be many people gathering here shortly, so please do your best to maintain order. I need to go to the academia with them now, but we'll be back soon. Are we going to ask about that scholar? Yes, but it may take some time for him to wake up after his consciousness returns to his body. We can leave the rest to the Matra. Hmm. I felt a violent tremor somewhere deep within my dream, and then I woke up. I guess we'll all wake up from our dreams sooner or later. That's kind of what happens. Yeah. I know you're trying to be dramatic, but... You wake up! That's what- that- dreams have to come to an end. I'm really glad I reached out to you earlier. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to handle this situation on our own. No, that would have been a nightmare. Great job as well! Uh-uh. They all started waking up around the same time. That's pretty amazing. I like how out of everyone who fell asleep, he was not one of them. I like that. The guy who was kind of stubborn, he's just like, okay, I won't do it. I wonder if that one guy's at the mountain. We could go check after the quest is done. All right. If you want to check now, you also can do that. Feel free to I don't go for remember it. the exact location. I don't either, if I'm being honest. I think it was south. Oh, well. <laughs> One of those mountains over there, somewhere up over there. We're over there. Dissipate. Hola. Oh, it's the great Dendro Archon. How can I help you? I would like to check the registration records of the Kasharawar scholar. He should be in an <laughs> unconscious state right now. Okay, just a moment. I like how that's totally normal for her. She's just like, oh yeah, you have that guy unconscious. Sorry to keep you waiting, Dendro Archon. We have confirmed that there's a scholar named Benuni who's been unconscious for a while. The cause was improper operation of the Akasha. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, and is still receiving treatment at Bimarstan. Mm. Huh? Isn't his name Moses? I guess he didn't want to be recognized or bothered by anyone. <laughs> Please. Give the knowledge stored in this to the Matra and ask them to import it into Benuni's brain. What if it's the wrong guy? Understood. But for safety reasons, I need to know why. That makes sense. You're questioning the Archon? It's simple. 
This contains his consciousness. It's long been trapped inside of a dream. Yeah, so be careful with that. Don't drop He's it. He's committed an act that affected the safety of Sumeru. After he wakes up, I'll inform the General Mahamatra of all the details. Once if you upload his brain into someone else's mind. Uh, I'm sh yeah, no response. I got nothing. Can you make copies of his consciousness in that thing? Can you make an maybe. army? I can only assume you could totally copy someone. Technically, Alhatham actually has a copy of us. I see. I'll take care of this right away. Thank you. Wait, Dendro Arkan. What has what is Alhatham gonna do with us? Mm. He has oh, us. No problem. Oh, it's just in case of an emergency. Oh. All right. Everyone should have gathered at the moment of dreams by now. Let's head back. Got it. Sit. I'll take care of it as soon as possible. Don't worry. Okay, her name cannot be Sit. It's gotta be Seat or something, right? Brr, I have no idea. I I don't know how to pronounce things here in uh, freaking Sumeru. Uh, Sumeru. Hola. Let's be quiet and just listen in. I wonder what she's going to say. Hello, all of you who have just woken up. I'm sorry for interrupting your beautiful dreams. I may have acted a little cold when handling things in the dream. I sincerely apologize for that. Hmm? She's just apologizing for being blunt, but she needed to be, so. Dreams have amazing power. They inspire us to remain resolute in the face of adversity and help those with aspirations achieve their desires. But dreams also have the potential to exploit people, confuse the senses, and distort the truth. Unfortunately, you are all chosen as prey for an elaborate scheme. As I've said before, I am still learning, and cannot fully empathize with the pain of all the loss you've experienced. I'm gonna be honest, girl, you've... You've dealt with plenty yourself. But just take a good look around you, and you'll see many other people who have had similar experiences. Mm -hmm. You should be proud that you've been able to gather here and look toward the future together. The path of life is long, and it's hard for us to see the destination. This leads us to ask a lot of difficult questions. What's the meaning of life? What's the purpose of my existence? Why do I keep experiencing pain and loss? Ironically, those aren't too hard to find. <sighs> of course. The most comfortable choice is to stop progressing, give up thinking, and just keep repeating whatever you're already familiar with. Blech. Blech. <laughs> Sorry, I had to shake that off. Whenever you have such thoughts, just look at the people and things around you. Some people work hard all day so that their families can have a hot meal on the table at night. Some people travel all over the world in order to create art that resonates with all of Tavat. Some venture in search of the world's secrets to prevent rapidly approaching, yet still unknown, world-shattering catastrophes. <laughs> Thank you for putting it like that. Life is not <laughs> nudge, just nudge. about yourself. Each and every one of your actions shapes you and the world around you. <sighs> Look... Friends and family will remember what you've done, and even some people you've never met may benefit from your actions. Therefore, many people will strive forward to forge new paths, even if they have to endure great pain to do so. Once you begin your journey on that same difficult yet rewarding path, you'll come to know the answers to those big existential questions, yet they will no longer feel as life-defining as they did before. But if you were to believe that life is nothing but an empty, ephemeral dream, then that's also the only thing it'll ever become. You are free to choose how you want to live your lives, but as your Archon, I should first make this information known to everyone. In the end, it's up to you whether you want to embrace a beautiful dream at the cost of your real life. Hmm. I mean, that's smart of her to just say, like, hey, ultimately, it's your choice. Genuinely. Because, isn't that kind of, That's pretty real, actually. Nahida said she wanted to speak with us alone. Oh, There's so many people to talk to. She went to the plaza in front of the academia. Luckily, it's all voice acted. 
I'm really glad I reached out to you earlier. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to handle this. Oh, that's the same. Great job as well. Oh yeah, wait, we did hear this. Wait a minute. Okay, I guess talk to the new people. So the dad and the daughter and... Thank you for rescuing me. I'm really sorry. Luckily, Hydar wasn't injured because of my stupid mistake. Dad said you're amazing. You're real heroes. Thank you. Oh. As it should be. Oh. Debbie and... I discovered that Nasser and I get along pretty well. We both have pretty straightforward personalities. It also turns out we both disagreed with a Dendro Archon. One in real life, and one in the dream. <laughs> Don't know if that's a pro, but okay. We disagreed with our... Our leader! With the person helping us. Great. Good for you. I'm glad that... 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 Nihita was matchmaker. I'm still a little dizzy from sleeping so long. Just give me a moment here. But I'm happy that you two are shipping. I guess. I guess. Since we were neighbors in the dream, how about we rent a place together? Oh, that's fun. That sounds uh, good. I can't afford a house on my own anyway, but I'm sure life will get better. Friend, dude, making friends. People getting shipped. People making friends. See, not everything. Hello horribly. again. You're in an adventure I'm outfit to now. I'm going on an adventure, and I'm taking this plant with me. <laughs> yeah! You go, girl! I shouldn't just sit here waiting for her to come back. <laughs> Professor Aisha was so determined to explore those secrets, so I should go take a look too. Yeah, but don't die, actually, because that would Thank make this you. way less funny. May we meet again in the future. Dude, we I can. hope. What if we do? I'll have to freaking remember this name. She may be in the next quest. Yeah, maybe uh, Kathia? Okay. Yeah. It's like Catherine, but not quite. Yeah, it's like Catherine. She's wearing green like Catherine, but not exactly. Hopefully that helps me remember. Oh, freaking. That was a bit of wholesomeness explosions right there. Yeah, you kind of needed some wholesomeness after uh, that quest. That was heavy, dude. Flip. Oh, actually. There we go. What? I mean, she was getting confused. Huh. Well, he's very good at manipulating the weaknesses of human nature, but perhaps he himself had fallen prisoner to them long yeah, ago. Yeah, no, I 100% agree with that. That dream was incredibly beautiful and enticing. Ordinary people couldn't see through it and easily lost themselves within it. Hmm. But as long as you can still wake up, you can still move forward with your life. Very true. You also learned a lot. Huh? What makes you say that? You can really empathize with others now. Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but we saw how considerate you were with all these people. Your speech just now really connected with everyone. You did a good job! <laughs> Thank you. I've heard a lot of sad stories along this journey, and several of them have touched my heart. You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong, and what they wanted was also not unreasonable. They were all victims. But at the same time, it was terrible for them. It was terrible for them, but I, I do understand where, like the whole unreasonable thing, because it's like... A lot of people in life, if you gave them a chance, even if it was in a dream, to meet someone that they love desperately, you would. I, mean, I don't think it would shock anybody if we saw a lot of people choose that over reality. Admittedly. That does not shock me in the slightest. It's not good, and you should not do that, but it wouldn't shock me. It's, uh, it'd be terrible. For you, need, you. you need people to wake you up. You need people in your life to be like, yo, it's not real, wake up. That's why I could understand them when they tried to resist us and protect the dream. But all of my understanding and stirred feelings probably can't even account for even 1% of the pain they've experienced. I don't think this 1% can be seen as an example of what you call empathy. Mm hmm. You're too hard on yourself, that's for sure. No one is capable of having absolute empathy. You'd have to read minds. Wait, she can do that. 
Mm. Should be a little more confident in yourself. I like that one. Yes. <laughs> All right. I suppose going out into the world will help my confidence grow. I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge, and that's why it's hard for me to put them into words sometimes. Mm. Benuni, or Mercedes, said that I had never personally felt the pain of loss. But I have a vague feeling that this isn't true. I mean, your own backstory, yeah. Yeah. And also the fact that you've lost someone precious to you. Yeah. The moment I entered the dream, I felt like I was wrapped in a blanket of warm feelings. It was so warm that it felt like I had returned to the start of my life. And I didn't want to wake up anymore. Hmm. Did she see something in the dream too? But when I opened my eyes, the feeling was gone without a trace. If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say I can no longer see words on a piece of paper after they have been erased. But I can still see the slight indentations of where the words had been written. Well, you also hmm. could get some like lead and stuff and like rub it the indents and you'd be able to read it. Just saying. I'm just saying. I get what she's saying. Yeah, I do too. Now that I've experienced this dream, I think I can say with confidence that I won't dwell too much on the meaning of that warmth. It's enough that I can tell I was once supported by that warmth, and its existence has allowed me to get to where I am today. Oh! If I dwell too much on its exact nature, I would be putting the cart before the horse. Mm. I gave a speech to inspire my people. So if I were to fail to live up to those words myself, then that would be too embarrassing. <laughs> I feel this. Hmm. Greater Lord Ruka Devata had already shaped Nahida through her actions. Even if she has been forgotten, Nahida's mind and willpower are the proof that she once existed. It's not like she never existed. No, 100%. She definitely did. She was basically her mom. Yes. Actually, entirely. Yeah. Also, her I'm not thinking about it. Don't think about it too hard. Instead of telling her the truth, I should probably respect their decision. I thought this is what we already were planning on doing anyway. I, yeah, I thought that I, th too. I thought that was the whole plan of making sure she stayed forgotten. Because I think that's the forbidden knowledge part. Yeah, because she's heavily linked with that. And if we explain it, there's a chance, even a small chance... It would come back. That LSR would come back. And then we would have to erase her again. <laughs> Nahida would have to make her own daughter, and then she, she would have to be killed. Let's not do this. Let's not do that, or have Nahida kill her mom again. I don't think anyone wants that. Hey, what's with that serious look? Don't worry about it, Paimon. Don't worry. You keep looking like there's something you want to say. Is there anything you want to tell me? Ah, not important. Not important. <laughs> not important. <laughs> okay. Since we just woke up, let's stretch a little bit. A new day is about to begin. The sun! Oh ah! my goodness! Flashbang. Ah! Hope everyone doesn't have sensitive eyes. Okay, that's Chapter it! one completed. That was a good quest. That was cool. That was fine. Okay. Um, after that bit of, um, what is that called whenever you feel, like, the sense of heights? What's that called? No, not nausea. Um, uh, ah, flip. I forgot that uh, word. There's a word for it when you feel, when you're dealing with, yeah, this sensation I'm feeling right now. Vertigo. That's vertigo, it. Vertigo. Yeah, yeah, that's the English word for that. Um, but, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that's probably the end of the quest. Because we've been recording for three hours, we really can't make this ending long. But let us know how you enjoyed it. What were your Indeed. thoughts about it? And uh, are you prepared for part two, which we'll probably record tomorrow, Indeed. actually. Does that take place in the new area? I can only assume it's going to take place in the new area. Got you. So don't take any quests around that area as we're going in there, because they could probably interrupt it. Are there, uh, did they add a new boss to the new area? Yes, there should be a new boss. I think there's two new bosses coming, actually, because there's the dragon. But then isn't there they also the... added the cool new hilly trails. Oh, we'll have to see those things. Yeah, but then isn't there also a... Um, I think there was the big... It was like an abyssal mage or something. I think it was a big lad. None of these guys wait, keep... Hold on. Yeah, boss, boss enemies. We'd be at the very... Wait, no. No, there it is. There it is. Bottom, bottom, bottom. 
Yeah, that thing. Yeah, you. The inquis- uh, the wait, wait, inquitos? Inquitos? Baptist? Baptist! Baptist. Ini- oh, iniquitous. Why was I reading it as Inquisitor? No, Iniquitous Baptist. Capable Got it. of wielding multiple types of elemental powers. Uh-oh. It's a dual element thing. Uh, no, most of the bosses are dual elements. Okay, don't rem- Okay. I, 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 I want this! Let me have Sorry, this! Sorry, not most, just a lot of them. Like, you... You're, you're like four. You are two. You are just physical. You're dual. You're, you're just going to keep going, aren't you? You're just going to keep doing No, I'm this. doing this for myself. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, well, multiple. ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And Lord willingly, we will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Take this emotional damage. Oh, that's not where I thought you were going to punch. Oh. Oh. Wow, that was very dramatic.